Good evening, children, and welcome to Call of Cthulhu, Shadow of the Crystal Palace. We'll be getting into that vibe in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm uh, Talison Chaffee. Um, I'm your uh, keeper for the evening. This is uh, I, uh, this is possibly uh, your first first time uh, watching this game or playing it, and it's uh, it's almost mine too. It's certainly my first time running it, so uh, uh, be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to run this game. It's going to be an awful lot of fun. Um, this one shot uh, is uh, has been developed with our friends at uh, Chaosium, uh, the people who make Call of Cthulhu. It's a fun game. It's a very different vibe from your normal Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm looking forward to showing you what you can do with it. Um, for those of you who don't know, Call of Cthulhu is the classic horror role playing game where players take on the role of journalists, academics, detectives. Uh, any of the kind of pulp adventuring uh, archetypes to investigate terrors of all sorts. We'll have a special one tonight. Um, our story tonight uh, has a soft connection. Do I have it somewhere here? I believe I put it here. <laughs> all the way over here. Uh, to their new Call of Cthulhu starter set, uh, which is the perf perfect gateway product for anyone interested in Cthulhu but not sure where to start. Um, when they threw this at us, they were uh, asking if we wanted to run it, and then we were of the opinion that we didn't want to spoil it for you. So this game is a subtle prequel that you can either incorporate into your version of the game or ignore and do something else interesting. Either way. Depends on how things go. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, the starter set gives you basic rules and some starter adventures uh, and ready to play game characters and some usable dice and prop handouts. We'll be talking about prop handouts in a minute. And you can go pick up the starter set right now uh, and use the code Critical Role uh, when you check out to get 10% off your entire order. Um, go to critroll.com slash Cthulhu, and I will spell that for the uninitiated, C-T-H-U-L-H-U, right now to check it out, and don't forget to use the code word when you check out. Um, I have a lovely uh, collection of investigators uh, before me. I don't know if you can see them yet, um, including uh, uh, everyone from our own Marisha Ray, Erica Ishii, Phil Lamar, Travis Willingham, Ashley Birch, and Sam Regal. Uh, who are joining us. I'll allow you just that one. I just got the one out. <laughs> it's the other one. Oh, uh, 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 Liam, Liam O'Brien will, uh, will be joining us. Hello, darling. Hello. Um, I'm so happy everyone dressed up. Part of the fun of this game, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay out a little bit of what I like about this game before we start playing so that people know what to uh, expect, is that it's a little less heroic than what you're used to in Dungeons and Dragons. It's a, a, a little less, um, a little less of the killing of dragons and a little bit more of running for your bloody life. Uh, poor Travis, uh, <laughs> I picked you especially for this. <laughs> it's also a very prop-heavy game, and I've gotten to develop a whole bunch of really exciting and interesting props that none of these players are ever going to find, <laughs> because they're going to just go completely off the rails. Uh, I know. I love prop comedy. Pro, this is yes. this is the We're absence of prop order. comedy. I don't know what that what that is. Roll of threes. <laughs> <laughs> or the roll of threes. <laughs> yeah, with disadvantage. Um, a couple other things to what do I else do I want to cover? So there will be there will be some interesting props hopefully that we'll get to show off and how that relates to the game and makes the game a lot of fun. Uh, I also want to just put out uh, put out for anybody who uh, is interested in this genre. I'm a big fan of cosmic horror. I love cosmic horror. Uh, one of my favorite memories was walking home from the movie In the Mouth of Madness, which if you've never oh, seen, yeah. the idea of walking home in a mist without another living human being what there the hell? nearly no. gave me a heart attack. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> Um, and the high wire balancing act between uh, the, the scale and fragility of the human experience set against a hostile world has always been my like adrenaline candy. Um, and before we begin, it's worth noting that the man behind the name most associated with this genre was a problematic mess even by the standards of his time. <laughs> uh, but it is a big genre with lots of big things happening in it right now and many voices doing really important work that is going to be heavy and terrifying and great. And I'm excited to show what you can do with these tools so that you can join the uh, nightmare choir of the never living and uh, make 
and maybe make the story a little less about him and a little bit about you and what scares you. Ooh. It's going to be fun. Uh, so, I suppose unless anybody else has anything they want to say before we begin. Should I leave? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Can I be excused? I've hidden your keys. Your wife knows to lock the door. <laughs> She wished me goodbye just to go and text. I didn't know what it meant. Certainly, it was certainly me? someone who looked like her. It could have been anybody. Don't do this, Talison. Why are you doing this? I love you all. <laughs> I'm getting it out of my system now because we're going to start are light. You? Are you yeah. getting out of your system? Yeah. Or are you just getting started? I'm getting a taste for it. It's like warm tasting human flesh. It's a warm up. <laughs> right. Without further ado, do my my wonderful investigators. I will be your keeper tonight, and we will be having a critical role journey into. Call of Cthulhu in a little story I have called Shadow of the Crystal Palace. <laughs> It's a lovely October evening. It's a beautiful night, and all of you have elected, for reasons that are going to become obvious, to attend the, uh, fir uh, the first meeting of the year of the National Cat Club at the Crystal Palace. Uh, the National Cat Club is very trendy, but it is uh, open to an awful lot of different social standings, so it tends to be a bit of a mix. Um, People are titled and fluent there, but plenty of you have enough social capital to go in, and all of you have cats entered in the cat show. The cat show opens to the public in 15 days, but in the meantime, they were just going over some new business, old business, and otherwise. Um, Jonathan Lansky, the uh, uh, minute keeper for the cat club, is going over some of the uh, news of the day. <clears throat> um, Mr. Harrison Weir has resigned his seat as judge for this year's cat show, an institution founded by Mr. Weir himself more than 20 years ago. If we count rabbits, pigeons, poultry, and uh, other domesticated creatures. Mr. Harrison Weir has spent over 40 years uh, as a fancier judge. In a letter to Poultry Magazine, he has explained that he has given up his cat show judgeship <laughs> due to some differences between the manager and himself regarding classes and schedules of prizes. Mr. Weir considered that out of fairness to exhibitors who incur so much expense and risk in forwarding their pets to these shows. Ah, the number of classes should be increased. His judgeship 
On the fruit committee of the Royal Agricultural Society is the only position of this kind of which Mr. Weir um, means to retain. It is uh, unnecessary in this company to say that uh, cat lovers and cat exhibitors across the country regret Mr. Weir's decision. With over 600 briefs to be displayed, <laughs> As this remarkable speech moves forward, <laughs> all of you feel a tap on the shoulder to a young man with well dressed, with bushy blonde hair that many of you uh, recognize as Mr. Rupert Merriweather. As he slowly pulls you into a side room to meet him um, just off the corridor. I imagine no one really wants to stay to hear the end of this speech. I think I do. It's, I'm going to be here for the next four hours. Okay, just um, <laughs> I have a recording you can put on. A, I'll be right back. I, I have four pages of it. Uh, have we already parted with our own personal cats at this point? Oh yes, they are already being uh, housed at the exhibit. Oh, what a shame. Mm-hmm. Uh, he uh, motions for all of you to go meet him in this side room. Can I say for the record that my cat is actually just a rat that I attached cat ears to? <laughs> a very large you rat. You might have been able to get away with it, to be magnificently frank. You would. Oh, it's so exotic. I know, it must be a new species, I'm not sure. Siamese just became very popular in recent years, so they really, I mean, like, anything is game. Those hairless Egyptians, you know? Mm. Not sure. <laughs> Loved every minute of this. Mm. You are taken aside into a small, um, what it just appears to be sit, uh, sitting room, a, a, a adjunct office to this to this main room that they're having the meeting in. We are all together. All together, all six of you. Well. And Mr. Merriweather. Hmm. Well, I am just pleased as punch. All of you who were willing to uh, go through with this, what could be a slightly dangerous and definitely mildly criminal uh, uh, forwarding. Uh, none of you, I assume, know each other. I'm almost certain none of you have ever met. So for the uh, sake of introductions, let me begin. As most of you know, I am Mr. Merriweather. I'm funding this uh, project. All of you have agreed to terms and stipulations of what's coming forward, and uh, Many things have already been put in motion. Now, I am hoping to retrieve a small casket, which several of you have a reasonable description of, from the Crystal Palace outside us. Now, of course, normally, on a normal night, uh, day, the Crystal Palace, which is a, a huge building, would be open to the public and bristling with people, but thanks to the evening and the fact that all of you had cats that we could enter into this, uh, into this uh, show, we may be able to walk around unencumbered tonight. Uh, there's a minimal security, as long as you don't go into the upper floors and uh, stay only into the wing that is currently uh, closed off due to the cat show. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out where they're unpacking and unboxing things. Um, somewhere amongst all of that um, are friend Dr. Pocket here has uh, moved the casket in question into the Crystal Palace. Uh, we will be able, sadly we don't know where in the exhibit it's, it's currently being stored. We weren't capable of uh, uh, having that much control over the situation. So Dr. Pocket has been in contact with the casket and knows its parents already? Uh, sadly, as far as I understand, Dr. Pocket simply did the paperwork. Oh, I misunderstood. I, I, I was not in possession of the casket, uh, as, I've, as neither has been Mr. Merriweather. No. But you have details? Bills of lading, mostly. Okay, well, what's in it? Well, that is a question, isn't it? Uh, it is approximately two feet long, uh, about uh, another third meter high and uh, 
it's a uh, you, 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 you guys use meters, that's right, I have to keep remembering. Uh, and it is apparently some, uh, possibly Egyptian in, in derivative, we're not really entirely sure, but it is classified as Egyptian in, uh, is a, an Egyptian antiquity. Um, I have obvious need of this, and uh, you have all been paid, or at least compensated very well for your time here, and all of your skills have been uh, you've all been hand selected for your skills. Um, the hope is uh, you will have time to go into the Crystal Palace, find uh, find the the casket, uh, and return to this room uh, where you will meet me and, uh, or at the very least, uh, my my butler, Captain uh, Captain Badger. There will uh, uh, ferret it away to me as quickly as possible. Uh, now, so you will not be coming with us, Mr. Merweather? I am trying to uh, keep a bit of a low profile in this one. There are plenty of people who already know that I am interested in this uh, particular antique, and if I am publicly seen during this uh, entire expedition, well then, the better that no one suspect that I have it. Mr. Merriweather has many interests elsewhere. I assure you I will be here to assist you in any way that any of you might need. Okay. How much time do we have? Well, I would have said you only have uh, two hours, but at the speed at which this meeting is going, I think four to five is a uh, far more likely proposition. Hmm. Um, In need of additional time, is there anyone who could potentially stall? I don't necessarily think it'll be necessary with the oratoria prowess of Mr. Lansky, but uh, <laughs> just in case, I have uh, some contingencies if uh, things go wrong. Uh, and I will be waiting for your signal. In the meantime, I recommend, uh, uh, the very least, that you all take a second to familiarize yourself with each other, and uh, I would imagine the first order of business will probably be trying to figure out how to get the lights on in the, uh, in the uh, North Hall, where we're going to be. Um, I've got that handled. No worries there. And why don't you start? I'm Ida. Please make all your acquaintances. I'm an engineer, and... Uh, yeah. That's about all you need to know about me. Short to the point, I like it. I know you. Do you? Mr. Conan Doyle says such wonderful things. Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, uh, but if Mr. Conan Doyle will, I can't forbid him. Um, I'm here as a bit of a security measure, although not in the way some of you might think. Uh, the item in question is old and wrapped in mystery. And I am here to make sure that we are safe from threats on the other side. Do you believe it is haunted, then? Oh, God. A few things in this world are not somewhat haunted. This, I believe, is very. Mr. Septimus, I believe you do like to toot your own horn. Well, if you've got it, flaunt it. <laughs> I assure you, all of you are the top in your field, and of course, uh, Mr. Goodfellow, Mr. Septimus Goodfellow, is the top in his, and I have spared no expense. Uh, I don't expect anything like uh, anything particularly uh, unusual to happen, but there are more things in heaven and earth, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and it never hurts to be prepared, and uh, I've always a big believer in being prepared, and I'm willing to spend on it. Uh, Ms. Codswell, as well, is the finest that you can uh, that you could hope for in this direction. If it would, no matter how the electric lighting in this uh, 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 building is put together, I am assured she will be able to figure out how it functions and to get it running uh, lickety split. Um, Tony Stark meet Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> um, and while I'm sure that uh, everyone at least has a mild idea of who you are, uh, Miss Hayashi. Uh, yes, Hanako, or Hana, if you will. Um, my parents are the Contess and Count. Um, what? Oh, no, I, I just, I'm so enamored, and we rarely, <laughs> very rarely have the ability to socialize with such esteemed guests. Oh, it's thank you, Taicho Sama. <laughs> um, my parents are very well known in the scene here. And um, my mother very much um, has her little tea parties. They're, they're diplomats, and you know, I'm well known at all the parties, and I've actually been curious when you'll attend one yourself. Oh, well, 
I just have to get to that side of the continent. It is good to see you again, though. <laughs> it is good to see you. Well, welcome back, by the way, to London, Miss O'Neill. So. Oh, thank you. Where's this from? Oh, I got this okay. from the Dalai Lama himself. <laughs> the Dalai Lama? I have been quite busy. Mm. Traveling alone. Mm. Yes, I am Alexandra. I'm a bon vivant, bit of an adventurer, self-proclaimed, I guess. But it works. Mm. So okay. you're here for a bit of the rough and tumble. Yes. And you're here to grease the wheels? That's a lark. We're going to have a bit of a laugh then, mm -hmm. aren't we? Huh. Uh, I assure you, uh, Miss, Miss Hayashi has many, many skills which will come into uh, play uh, when necessary, but everyone has been selected for, for their capabilities. Uh, Miss O'Neill, as well, has uh, quite a bit of experience with uh, antiquities and otherwise, and it's good to have a couple people who know what they're looking for. It's uh, going to be a bit odd in there. There's a lot being worked on. Most of the exhibits are in total disarray. Um, it's going to be confusing, and there are, I'm told, hundreds of cats as well, so there might be a bit of a sound and a smell. <laughs> um, I should also uh, say none of this would be possible without uh, Dr. Mason Pocket. Thank you so much for agreeing to uh, uh, fudge a bit of paperwork on our behalf. <laughs> well, that's supposed to remain between us, Mr. Merriweather, <laughs> but uh, we're all Mates here. Uh, Friends, yes. Yes, and uh, I am very honored to be in such esteemed company, uh, and uh, I am merely a antiquities archivist, not uh, famous and world-traveling adventurers, uh, beautiful, exotic people. Um, <laughs> but if after we You're are... You're a charmer, though, oh, clearly. Thank you very much. And you know, if... Uh, after we've finished, in a couple of hours, uh, if anyone would like some light reading, I have copies of my pamphlet, The Sacred Nightmare of the Ancients. Uh, oh. It's a piece I've worked on. It is really my life's work, and I, I believe the Countess would really enjoy it, reading it. And is it Mr. a work of fiction? Or? It, is, it is most assuredly not. I actually, I have read it, and I'm looking forward to uh, further funding your endeavors in this study. I think that there's a lot of interesting uh, uh, research to be done. I've actually read it as well. I think you sell yourself short. Well, thank you very much for this, the words out of my mouth. You're writing about shadows. Yes. It's fascinating. It is only the beginning. <laughs> Captain, you look a little uh, oh, green around the gills. <laughs> no, um, shadows. I, I'm, I may be the one um, unbeliever in the group. You're not the only one. Yes, uh, more rational minds, yes. Um, <clears throat> no, uh, as far as antiquities are concerned, we certainly have redundancies between the good doctor and Alexandra. Mr. Merriweather was clever enough to make sure that we were covered in that area, so we will be more than adept up to the task. Shall we get the lights on? Yes. Let's do it. Well then, uh, good luck, Godspeed, and um, I wish you all the best. Thank you, Rupert. Yes. Where shall we meet you when we return? Oh, right back here. Perfect. Um, if you just make your way back to these, uh, uh, to the uh, royal suites, then everything should be tip top. Very good. And we're heading to the north hall. How do you think your cat will fare in the contest today? Oh, I have every faith in Kevin. Kevin. Yes. <laughs> what a unique name. Thank you. Kevin shall have to meet Bathsheba later today. Oh, that would be delightful. Whilst we're done with the job. Bit of a play date. Hmm. <laughs> Easy. <Kevin. laughs> so. So, I mean, uh, hmm. let's capitalize on that opportunity. Should we all name our cats real quick? <laughs> I think that's a lovely um, idea. I think Nefertiti will actually place very oh, well. Yes. Wow. She we just is went there, did we? Brought over from India. She is quite the sight. Uh, Nyan is a great Persian, mm. white and fluffy, and very well bred. Mm. Io is a tabby. Io. It's I -O. spelled I O. Wonderful. Like yeah. a cow. The, yes, the lover of Zeus. Mm. Yes, uh, mine is uh, Achu. Um, I found <laughs> it right outside. <laughs> it is in with a bit of cheese. <laughs> You're not really a cat person, are you, Captain? What gave it away? <laughs> You're a bit nervous, aren't you? Hmm. 
No, no, of course not. <laughs> it's all right, we'll be there by your side the entire way. And why would a non-believer have any reason to be nervous? Exactly. <laughs> so we have Nefertiti, Nyan, Io, Achu, Kevin, and Bathsheba. Yes. Care to place a wager? I'm feeling very confident. Ooh. Oh my. Hmm. Sure. I've just gotten paid. Thank you. Money on delivery. <laughs> yeah, good, good. <laughs> I'm so confident I will place 10% of my earnings for this job on the line. Oh God, I might as well start a book, 10% from Septimus, okay. Mm -hmm. I will call. I love Alexander. Kevin, but uh, this is going to become a money. cat fancy <laughs> sim, so quickly. isn't it? That's why I agreed to this. <laughs> it's going to be my my next game, Call of Cthulhu, cat fancy. <laughs> you knew what this was when you did it. <laughs> I, I, I didn't really think about it, and then earlier Brittany went cats, and I was like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> I know we're just going to go to the cat room, and we're just going to hang out there the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Well. <laughs> When there are this many cats, what room is not the cat room? True. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty percent. Oh, oh my goodness. You're very <laughs> confident in your cat room. <clears throat> right. you know. I shall meet it. Good lord. Is it getting a bit rich for my sporting. blood? <laughs> the British oh, yeah. Museum does not pay quite that well. Uh, but thanks to Mr. Merriweather's generosty, I shall join at ten percent. Sounds lovely. <laughs> I like to keep my money. <laughs> it comes from mythology. Yes, well, with the champion blood running through Achu's veins, I will <laughs> abstain. You better hope that there's no flies about then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a little mythology joke for you. Exactly. What? I'm so pleased. <laughs> All right. Let's see about those lights then. Down the North Hall? So, as you make your way into the next room, you step into a massive steel and glass pavilion, two stories tall, like stepping into the greenhouse of giants. It is, there's almost a sense of vertigo to the sheer amount of space. In front of you, uh, you see many, many yards forward, the beginning of the bazaar stalls where people are selling odds and ends and wares. Uh, past that, um, the uh, more crystal walls have been set up that, that uh, uh, shape in the individual, the individual exhibits. Uh, you're not sure which ones are beyond that. To your right and ahead of you is a giant three-tiered fountain indoors with water just creening down it in three directions. It's a special system. They even had to develop a special water tower just to get this amount of pressure to create these fountains. It's quite a sight and makes quite a noise. Mm. To your far forward and, and to your right is the main entrance to this wing of the Crystal Palace. It is very dark and there are smaller rooms uh, to your left against the wall, um, but it is a little disorienting. There's moonlight, but it's very dim. Do I get a sense of where I need to go to turn on the lights? <sighs> or can I make the first roll of the game? Why don't you, um, why don't you roll as I get a thing so I can know what I'm doing? It's all the way over here because I have too many pieces of paper. <laughs> um, Spot hit. Make a. Uh, I'll give you. I'll give you something fun. Uh, give me something fun. Let's use a. Uh, um, where's something fun? Uh, da, 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 da. I know. I'm. I'm doing this a little uh, slowly because I have not. Looked. That's all right. Do an electrical re repair roll. Oh, that just is more to fun. see if you can see where the wires are running to. I failed it so hard. <laughs> you failed that real hard. I failed it so hard. Um, I mean. So 
The building is all glass. How can you not see where the wires are going? I know, so I'm be, wondering how I could push. It is, it is a bit chaotic in here. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot uh, going on. Just despite the, the glass walls, there's also so many stalls and so many shadows moving against the walls. It's hard to see what's what. Um, there's a thousand lines in here, and they're all shadow. Perhaps, uh, yeah. Perhaps. I don't know. What are you going to do? Does anyone have a light source that's not too, you know, attention grabbing? I just need a, a lantern. You have a lantern? I always keep so one on me. I'm an adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> what? A prop comedy. <laughs> oh. I'm assuming I can pull this out now, right? Uh, no, you it actually can't. Next to me. Where oh. were you keeping it? But it's that? over there. <laughs> so. Wait, where did that come from, and where did you put it back? <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Let's <laughs> And the lady never tells. Women and so is, is the coat check next to the lantern check? <laughs> you could try and find a coat check. Oh, is that where I could I check know. to my lantern? No, a coat check would be near an entrance. It only serves to reason that perhaps like an entrance would also have access to lines. <laughs> this place is abandoned where we are, this part of the. You don't see palace. or hear anybody. Yes, could we look for a coat check somewhere where there's a reception area? Mm-hmm. So you can follow the wall to the left or the wall to the right? The right goes to the main entrance, but that's probably busy with people. What about the smaller rooms over here? I agree. So which way are we going? To the left. Well the left done. The to your left, you find uh, past a small open corridor, corridor and a set of stairs that uh, look a little precarious. Uh, there is a small guard post. There's like a little. There's a little guard post. Is there a guard at the guard post? There is a guard at the guard post. Mm. Um, roll. Uh, everyone, I want everyone to uh, uh, roll a stealth check. Oh, to the left. To the left. Everything in the guard post to the left. I pass that one. Thank you. Christ. So. Roll two. So you're running Definitely these failed. two. And then you're trying to get underneath your Lower. So everyone's Lower. rolling percentiles and attempting to row below so their percentiles. Okay. Single percentile. Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Late, so you failed. Okay. So <laughs> you want to be lower than your number, and if you're not lower than your number, then you fail. Which is what? Your stealth no, it should be on the final column of the navigator skills. I rolled a four. <laughs> Okay, so these two jabronis Wait, fails. Sorry. Two fails. <laughs> three fails. You think jabroni? Success. I feel like perhaps maybe the entire party doesn't need to do this sometimes. I not sometimes it won't be the entire party this time. It's the entire yes, party because right. you all just Scooby Dooed into this. Yes, we do. I shall catch up with you. If you don't have a number, then it's just ten percent. Hey, It'll just right. be that. Uh, oh, it's actually right here. Yeah. Same as mine. Can I sort of tiptoe oh, past, yeah, since I'm the only one to, that seemed to have succeeded? Oh, this one, yeah, okay. Um, you are it's probably hiding behind the fail. larger <laughs> members of the group. Uh, you can certainly duck behind so that the, he, that the guard doesn't see you, but he does see the rest of you. Oh, um. Oh, right, what, what's, 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 what's all this then? What's, dear, what's all this? One minute to remain to another? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, my dear sir. Yes. My friend here has uh, something of hers that she's left in the coat room. Yes. Where so might she find it? Oh, how would you leave something in the coat room? And does is it mean? there anywhere else to get more champagne? Oh, you just cat. There's the cat show going on, right? Yes, we all have cats <laughs> in the show. We're quite nervous. Something to settle the nerves. All oh, right. So, when did you leave your coat? Was it today? Or was it yesterday? Was it? It was earlier today, and I just got so wrapped up in the chaos. I, <sighs> I'm not sure where I left it. Hold on, hold on. It would probably be right here. This, uh, this. Uh, I see. Don't have a coat here. Let's. Uh, mm. Can I keep oh, an eye out behind us for anything weird? Sorry. Mm. Go ahead. Can you? Since I am not being seen by the guard, can I keep an eye out from behind us of anything mm -hmm. weird? Nothing weird so far. Okay, great. And oh. while he's searching, can I look to see if he has a light source? He does. Mm -hmm. how, how close? Um, I mean, I don't think you'd be able to get past him to get to it, but okay. it's there. Okay. Because he's working by it. Okay. Well, oh. all right. Lamp. Where's the camera? It's a lamp. <laughs> it's, it's very specific. It's a very specific coat that, yes, it's well, gray. It's got these scallops. I got it the last time that I went to Russia, and I would just hate from to the Tsar himself. Exactly. This, Please, this, can you go back in the back and just check for us? Oh, the back's quite far away. Let's. Uh, mm. Please. I'll tell you what. It, 
if, if it's not here, it's probably been moved uh, to, well, they wouldn't have moved it to the back storage because it's full of cats yeah. right now, so they probably have moved it uh, over next to the electrical arcade. Uh, oh, where's uh, that? Oh, that's just, that's just past here. Have you never been here before? No, first, oh. first cat convention. Well, welcome, uh, I suppose, although it does terrible things to my allergies. I try and stay entirely away from that. It's been killing me all evening. Oh, so uh -huh. It's not nice. But um, I'm not really supposed to leave the post. We can go by ourselves. We'll, we'll manage. It's, it's all right. She can uh, get another one the next time she's in Russia. Yes, we'll just dip in, <laughs> dip out. Yes, yes won't even that, seems, that seems fine. Let's. Uh, Where did you say the electrical arcade is located? Uh, well, it's, it's hard to. Hold on, I think I've got something for you here. Hold on one second. And he, uh, he pulls out a. a um, a map for you all of like a, oh, the, uh, we have it over there, and we, at some point I'll put it in the middle of the table so that oh, you can all yeah. see it a little bit better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I can do a little We Are Here for you. Um, and I want to show you on the map where the storage closet would be, where yes. they would be holding the code yes. if it's there. Uh, mm -hmm. um, let's uh, uh, attempt a charm roll. Oh. Me or her? You. Or both of us. Uh, both of you. Okay. Which charm? I'm just realizing I'm not great at this. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh. Uh, Come on, Dora. Oh, I actually succeeded. Thirty <laughs> percent. He saw you eyeing the lantern. Did he? <laughs> Well, it's a beautiful lantern. You can take it. It's not. <laughs> I, I, I assure you, uh, you can take it with you as you as you head down there, just so you don't get Thank you. trip over anything and I'll get in trouble. And I suppose that's just a loss on the champagne, then, isn't it? I <laughs> I say this with as much honesty and and uh, relative humility as I can. Do I look like the sort of person that they would tell where the champagne is hiding? Right, well. You have an honest face. I'm sure they would have told you these things if it had been important. Bless your ignorance, John. Mm. Anyway, uh, so good luck to all of you, and uh, just thank you. try and get in and out as quickly <laughs> as you can. <laughs> You're welcome. Do we have money in this game? You have a little bit of, you love a little bit of pocket change. You all have a little, I've given you all a little bit of pocket change. Uh, for okay. Mr. Merriweather, I will give him a generous tip for his help. Wow. Thank you, sir. This is awfully kind of you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything else you need. I suppose. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just don't make too much trouble, all right? You all. Well, what was your name no again, sir? Oh, oh, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, that's right. I have a. Um, so my name's NPC. There we are. <laughs> Uh, is uh, Mr. Whalen. Nigel Peterson. <laughs> that's why I'm the third. Joseph Whalen's a uh, man you. at your service. Uh, Mr. Whalen. Yeah, please uh, let me know if there's anything you need. Uh, so you have that map, and uh, actually, uh, do you want to grab it or should I grab it? Um, I can grab it if it's easier for you. Your pants are more exciting than mine right now. <laughs> well, that's not true. My pants are exciting just in the wrong way. Use your imagination. God, you look like a <laughs> ghost, Marisha. I know. You do. So. I like you should be haunting a house right now. Stop. The ghost of Christmas pass. Yes. This is good. Right. Yes. Yeah. Prop number one, you have a map. Okay. So. You can see down there, that's where you're ent entered into, right there. Oh, mm -hmm. um, that's the that's where apartment. you came from. Open oh. corridor, right in front of you, is the guard post. Mm -hmm. stairs, and stairs. beyond that, um, right past the medieval court, is where you would find the electrical arcade. Ah. Uh, so. Okay. There we go. So, shall we head there? Yes, let's just go. We head there. <laughs> Excellent. So, walking past the surprisingly shoddy uh, Byzantine uh, exhibit that's been overtaken with crates. Uh, in fact, I, I will say, as as you as you walk through the palace, it is seen better days, mm -hmm. and maybe it's just because all of the uh, uh, all of the exhibits are in a little bit of disrepair because they're setting up a new exhibit, but. There's an age to the building. It's not. It's not holding its own as, as well as it should be. It's starting to show. Uh, it's uh, show around the edges. The places where it leaks in the rain are becoming apparent, especially in London. 
And the only light we have in here is coming from the lantern, correct? And the moonlight, and because moonlight. the walls and the ceiling are all Glass. translucent. Uh, are the crates in the Byzantine court, are are they all old and dusty like the building, or does it look like there's anything that's been recently delivered? Oh, many things look like they're recently delivered. Yeah, it's, it's uh, it, obviously they have just shoved things in every corner because cats are nightmarish. <laughs> um, and that's why we love yes, them. Yes, you said it. Uh, yeah. This 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 does not look like a well a well organized uh, organized machine. This looks like a giant mess. Um, but you do make your way past the medieval uh, the medieval exhibit to the electrical arcade. Um, it is a long corridor heading up, of course, glass, and tables and tables and tables of machines and devices of every sort running into cables that go up into the ceiling into what are obviously a series of uh, 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 what were once gas lamps but have now been completely retrofitted and a few interesting attempts at brand new devices. Uh, hundreds of different designs of light bulbs, some of which obviously are not uh, necessarily working. Different types of engines, steam engines, uh, electrical generators of all sorts. Can I, uh, could I roll something potentially to see where uh, a particular piece of machinery is? Of course. That I might futz with. Um, you can use spot hidden, or you can use, or if you want, you can use one of your your, your science or electrical. Uh, um. So do electrical. Fuck the other What are you looking for, out of curiosity? Um, something that my previous employer might have. An on switch. I'll tell you what. Since it's since it's yeah. since it's a, since you're looking for something Edison and you would know what it looks like, um, roll uh, roll with advantage. Okay. Yes. I got it anyway. All right. Yes, you do actually. Um, off into the corner on the on the far right table, you don't only just recognize something of Edison's. You recognize one of your designs. Oh, fuck. That piece of shit. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? <clears throat> nothing, nothing. Uh, can, can I sort of surreptitiously start, like, fucking with it? <laughs> uh, you're going to walk over to it? Yeah. You definitely see, um, you definitely see that it's, that it's there. Uh, you definitely, what you see is a, is a, uh, Small portable Stirling engine using a gas, a gas uh, uh, displacement system of your design, um, with the name uh, of uh, a very particular uh, person connected to it. There is a, a Jasper Stagwell's entry into the Crystal Palace. Can I um, take my tools out and just? So you don't have tools, have tools at the tools moment there? because, yeah, you don't have any on you. I didn't bring any. It is small enough. It is rather small. In fact, actually, since we're staring at it, um, I'll tell you what. I mean, it is right here. To be fair. <laughs> Fascinating. What? What is that? It's not a. F I mean, it, it. Yeah. So it is right there. Is there something we should be concerned about? Nothing. Do you know that they invented an electrical device in Japan in 1776? Have you heard of it? What is it? It's called an elekater. Hmm. An elekater? Yes. Hmm. A man named Genai Hiraga created it. Do you know anything about that? I don't know about that, but I know about this. Hmm. This was my design, oh. and some asshole put his name on it. So and um, what exactly does it do? It produces electricity. Really? And he yes. stole it from you? Yes. So Magic. I punched him in the face. Uh, anyway, um, let's get the lights on, shall we? Can I look about to see if I if there's mm -hmm. any, anywhere in here? Lantern and help her out. Yep. Uh, make a make a anybody anybody who wants uh, actually no it would be you because you would know what it looked like unless you wanted to attempt to explain it is a uh, do a uh, um, uh, a electrical um, uh, yeah electrical repair. Roll. I did remember reading about that. I enjoyed that story. <sighs> I failed again. Gave him quite the bruising. It's eluding you. Um, 
There seems to be. I'm upset, so I'm thinking straight. <laughs> you're, not, you're not entirely thinking straight. If anybody else just wants to wants to help out, possibly. Is there anything I can do to assist you here? I need to find. What do I? What am I looking for? I'm looking for specifically. It would be. It would probably be where, like, a, a point of contact with all the wire, like, with like where well, there would be right. like a main switchboard system. I'm looking for a while, switchboard. While she's hunting about, um, mm. I take a few steps forward and place uh, fingers to my temple. Reach the other hand out. Um, I would like to attempt to sense any aura in this larger chamber. Anything to worry about? Um, roll uh, an occult roll. Uh, parapsychology. Um, uh, yeah, the, the uh, parapsychology. Psychology. Happened. All right. New game. Who this? I know. <laughs> uh, that is a success. Uh, I think I have. I've given you. Uh, I, you've got. You've got your room notes in there. So you. So. So. Um, I thought as much. Yeah. It'll be. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. You didn't even need to roll that. That's in the. That's in the room notes. Go ahead. <clears throat> Are you well, Septimus? I am well. We are not alone. Well, there's quite a few of us here. I was going to say the same. <laughs> yes, yes. I am alluding to a presence on the other side. Oh, for God's sake. I'm uh, looking for a, a box with lots of wires going into it. Can you find it? Metal, wood. Metal. Yeah, I, I will search for Alexander, will you keep an eye out just to make sure we're not uh, visited roll, by roll, you? Yes. Roll spot hidden. I'll look to see if we've... Um, that's called spot hidden on here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, fourth column on the right. And I have to be lower then. Mm -hmm. I did not succeed on that. Oh, well, it's a shame. Can I look for something the on the other side? Metal electrical box. Uh, yes. Sh sure. Roll. Um, are there any wires running from this machine too? There, there are a lot of wires running through this Man's through this machine. There's a lot of. Uh, um, um, Seems to run on some form of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can make a either make a make a, a uh, make a spot hidden check or make a uh, um, or a science check. But both of those are shit. Let <laughs> me help you with this. Spot as well. hidden and where's science? I, oh, can I also? Mm -hmm. Oh, science. Oh, oh don't do that, that one. <laughs> you can also suggest things, and I will tell you whether or not they'll work. Oh no, that's bad. I just go to sleep. Shit the bed. It's no. very dark in here. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so delighted that you are all stuck trying to turn on a light switch. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. While no. this is happening, I'm keeping track to make sure that no one is following us. Um, roll a, um, yeah, roll a, roll a stealth check. Stealth check? Stealth or survival, up to you. And may I try to spot the, uh, the box? Yeah. So Actually, you will uh, spot yeah. the box! Ooh. Fail. You are all hilarious. It's below. <laughs> oh. Uh, or is that, no, that's a that's a hundred. Right? If it's zero, if it's if it's uh, no, there is no because you can't get hundred and six. So zero zero is, is is super low. Yeah, zero zero. Yeah, exactly. Um, it occurs to you you've been here before. Um, in the daylight. Oh. Uh, you're a little distracted, and I also think maybe perhaps you were taking the measure of some of those people around you. I was a little um, intimidated, yes. You can go ahead and lead everyone to the um, contraption about five uh, five meters down on the right. I apologize. I my I haven't got my head on straight. I think I know what you're talking about. I think it's right down here. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. To be fair, it's a bit. Dizzying in here. Does anyone else feel that? Absolutely. Man was not meant to live within glass. No. Agreed. Um, Ms. Ms. Cogswell, uh, is this what you were looking for? I assume it is. Yes, let me just get the lights on. Uh, just Thank a you. moment. Um, I'm sorry. I know we've been instructed to turn the lights on. This whole house of glass. Um, won't that give away what, what we're we are? trying to do? It's just this wing. Um, you can you can roll with advantage. Um, actually, this isn't even this. Uh, this is obvious enough that I think there wouldn't even be a roll for it. There are very obviously breaker switches to mm -hmm. different chunks of the of the uh, uh, crystal palace, and it's it it is pretty well marked that you can just turn on one oh, chunk ah. chunk of them if you so if you were so inclined. Keep it in the darkness until we get to the wing that we need. Right. Right. 
Which I suppose is, we don't have a sense of where that is, do we? Well, we wanted to go to the North Hall, right? Well, this is a... This is a... Oh, the entire thing. We don't have a sense thing. of where the casket is? Or no, we, we somewhere in there. But we do have a map, and one area says the Egyptian court. Mm -hmm. Suspicious. And if I throw this breaker, it would illuminate this entire section of this map. Only one way to find out. Mm. Great, good. I yes. say we do it. <clears throat> We'll vote for do it. We've got the god on our side. Fair enough. Maybe we want Uncertain to go room complaints? by room with the lantern first. Carefully. Yeah, I feel like that might be smarter. Hmm. Hmm. As you wish. Sure. We can always start with the Egyptian court. That seems to be the most obvious of plans. And currently, are we closer to the outside of the medieval court? Are we? More in this direction. Yeah, we? you're on the you're on the um, uh, what would be the the far side, so the uh, the, the the French area right over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the breaker's kind of like in, in the wall. This place it is. is massive. Um, Surely, we can't all crowd around the lantern and get the whole thing. The, the the breaker runs the lights to an underground generator, from what you can from what you can glean, or you assume such. Um, uh, make a make a hmm. What would you? What would you? What would you want to roll to like to like see if you like? I would even say uh, roll a roll an electrical uh, um, electrical repair roll or or uh, uh, yeah, if there's any other skill to just sort of examine this really quickly, see if you can. I finally fucking passed it just barely. Yeah, that is literally just barely. I'm so glad it's not me. It's so good to be on this side of that reality for once. <laughs> what I will say is this. Um, you definitely know that you can isolate the lights to this section of the of the of the Crystal Palace. You also can glean that that the way that this is set up, um, as long as you have some sort of generator pushing through this thing, you should be able to get to get light through it. So like this this system is pretty is is pretty open so it's like all you would have to do is roll it to the generator down below right now and it would be very this is just a nice push button solution to a to a light problem at the moment we'll also say that the farther in we go my senses are heightening there are spirits all around us and for the most part here i have no worries but again further in I sense a change, so please, watch your steps. Well, spirits don't like shadows. Spirits don't like shadows, right? So shall we just turn on the lights? Turn on the lights. I, I second uh, Mr. Goodfellow. And only out of curiosity, uh, Septimus, what will these spirits um, do? <laughs> <laughs> well, one can never predict out here, I believe. What have they done to they you? They are marking our pre What have they done? What have they done to you? These. Did they hurt you? <laughs> oh, good lord. They have never hurt me. If one is open and willing, they wish to talk in their way. Mm. I see. Ah. Mm. Consider your words heeded, sir. Okay, lights. so. Yeah. Lights, lights or not? Yes, please. Lights. Yes. lights. Flick. The room illumin illuminates brightly with electrical light. It is it is a brilliant, beautiful sight. Um, Hearing thirty cats go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, no. You know, I mean, you know what? I'm going to say there's enough white noise from the fountains that you probably don't hear the cats go. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> uh, also, to be fair, being cats, you just turn on the light. I think they all did this in unison. Yes. <laughs> are, there, are there any cats in the room that we're in now? Uh, there are no cats in the room right now. Oh. I should have made you roll for that. That's okay. Never mind. Cats. Roll for roll cats. For cats. <laughs> um, there are no no cats in the room. Although now you see the tables and tables and tables of exhibits. It's truly spectacular. Oh you do hear from the other from from down the hall. Um, just a little. Everything all right? Oh yes, uh, Mr. Wayland. Everything's fine. Thank you. Uh, well. Um, just a reminder that uh, uh, your your generosity is always, always appreciated, and just please turn off the lights once you find your jacket. Most, most assuredly, almost there. Mm -hmm. And if any bubbly shows up, you know. No, no, nothing to worry about, just go about your business. <laughs> nothing to worry about, just go about your business. 
there any sort of skullduggery I would want to do here, other than what I've already learned? Um, I, say no, right? I mean, honestly, I don't know. It's it's just it's just sitting there. Uh, I'm going to take it. You're going to take it. I'm what going you, to take what it. What are you doing with that skull? <laughs> I love skullduggery. Just a little dugger. Dugger. You dugger. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm sure there's I'm sure. I'm sure if there was time, you, you're, I'm sure you're welcome to, to examine a few other things and see if there's other things around here that, that this was just, you rolled and this is the first thing you saw because it's, it was from your head. Right. I'd like to look around. Okay, have there's a little a look bit. around. Can you um, roll for fancy in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just for clarification, the casket mm. is, what are the dimensions? Two um, feet long. It's, it's, about, it's about this, it's oh, about okay. this. It's okay. uh, carryable. Right. Heavy, but carryable. Do we know if it's made of wood, gold, metal, jade? Um, you would probably know that it is made of stone, of like a light, of a light limestone, but very, but like carved, ornate, and and rel- relatively thin. The descriptions surprising. of the casket that I've read uh, say that it's of limestone. Oh. Um, so, I mean, hopefully you can <laughs> you can lift it. Um, but uh, yes. With some ornamentation on it. Excellent. Uh, and we, we look around the room to make sure that it's not visible in this room. Mm. Yeah. It'll be a very short adventure. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you do you know what kind of roll you would like to make, or do you want me to tell you what kind of, tell you what kind um, of roll to make? Spot hidden, perhaps. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Make make a roll. Um. Nope. No. Just about. Some there's a lot going on in here. What about of anything of um, particular value that is small in size? <laughs> Describe small in size. Nothing quite that small around. Uh, everything, there's nothing pocketable. Um, that's probably one on the smaller end of the sorts of things that you're generally going to find in this room. What about anything eclectic or strange? Literally everything is eclectic What's and strange. What's the strangest talism? <laughs> uh, roll, uh, give me, yeah, give me a, give me a roll. Uh, probably either, um, either, either uh, um, intelligence or uh, spot hidden, whatever you feel like. From characteristics mm-hmm. at top? Oh, gotta go with intelligence. Ooh, nice. Yes, found. There's a very odd wooden box that looks very old. Mm. Is it behind glass, under glass, or out? It is definitely behind glass. Mm-hmm. What'd you find there? Something very old and very interesting. Maybe extra credit for later. Mm. Well, extra credit mm. for now. I can I help we... you with that glass. Do tell. Mm-hmm. Show me what you've got. Does it look like the glass can be open first off? Um. <laughs> <laughs> show me what you've got. <laughs> uh, show me what you've got. Uh, I, what is the one for this one? There's uh, yeah, skills are always. Uh, I'm just getting used to this again. Um, to see if there's a lock. Yeah, go go take a look. Uh, do a do a little bit of a uh, yeah. Do a a uh, do an intelligence roll for this one. Just straight intelligence. Yeah. And while she's looking at the glass. I know what this is, don't I? You do know what this is. Mm. I succeed, just barely, but I um, also by one point. <laughs> yes. The case, the case can be can be uh, appears to be locked, but can be opened. Uh, it is a, is a, is on an easy hinge. It's one of those wooden lifting lifting uh, uh, tables. Mm. There are five or six. Interesting tre- uh, pieces of, of engineering ephemera in this. This particular, these particular ones are a uh, uh, a small pair of tongs that seem to roll into a weird, almost heart shape that look like a, a pe- uh, electrical energy is uh, uh, generated between them. There's this the one that uh, there's this w- uh, old wooden box with a floral. Um, uh, like a floral uh, uh, design across it. That's very interesting. There's a um, uh, a couple, uh, um, what appear to be jars of liquid with uh, salt crystals starting to form on the edges of them, uh-huh. with wires running between them. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, they're in a case, and there is a there is a lock. Are there any potatoes? What was once a potato is now covered in vines, strange eyes. Yeah, no, there's no potato. <laughs> I love a good potato clock, though. I almost bought one. Does the case have any glass mm-hmm. behind it, or is it just the top? Uh, just the top. Hmm. Uh, 
let me see. Do you mind if I take a look? Sure. All right. Mark pick. Go ahead. Give it a roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, give it a roll. Uh, give it a roll with advantage. Also, a quick glance. No one's walking this way, right? Still very unimpeded. Um. Uh. Give me a. Yeah. Just a. Yeah, just uh, Did you, oh, yeah. give me a survive. Uh, give me a um, a, 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 a stealth or survival for this one. I know I'm using this a little weird, but I'm in the mood. I skill. <laughs> Actually, give me a listen. Better. Ooh, twenty. Not great. Oh, oh, fuck all that. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet as a mouse. Everything's fine. I sort of position myself in front of it, and with extreme success, um, I. Very extreme. What did what did what did you roll? A ten. ten. Oh, f- never mind. I was going to give you a little bit of it. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, you you uh, you managed to pull a uh, a little pin out of your hair, and I don't even think you make eye contact with the thing. I think you just you just dangle it, and it I pops you open. Have quite the Mr. eye Hershey. things. Did you learn that at the embassy? Oh, you know, just little things you learn at finishing school. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking out? Mm, yes. For adventure. Finishing. I like it. The case is open. All right. What's inside? Um, it doesn't look like it's alarmed or perhaps. Um, spot hidden. Spot hidden. Yeah, spot hidden. Eighteen hundred. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's, it's at, just barely. Wait, no, it's, I want to do this at, ha- at, 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 at this is difficult, so it'll be at your half level. Oh, Ooh, should I roll again? Uh, what, what's your, what's your spot hidden? Uh, 60. So did you go under 30? Uh, put that uh, no. back. Looks fine. Mm. Mm. Difficulty means that you 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 have you have to get double what you would normally get. So Ooh. if it's a sixty percent advantage, you, you you now have to hit thirty or below. So instead of sixty below, it's now thirty or below. Mm. Looks fine. Looks fine. Uh. Why all what, the hubbub? What, what, what do we see inside? Item? Can we see yes. Can the two jars, the box, and the uh, and the the, the 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 odd tongs. Oh, I thought she opened the. Oh, she opened the case, but there's a little wooden box inside. Mm. Um. Care to share what all the extreme attention is over? Oh, it's just a little trinket for my country. Real country? Mm, yes, oh. the old country, the mother country. Are you. Uh... I grab it. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm not joking. Are you serious? Boop, <laughs> 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 No, just kidding. <laughs> it's like 1890, anything can happen. Some <laughs> <laughs> like drunk asshole in the corner going, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Red laser yeah. light. <laughs> Entrapment. <laughs> Exterminate, annihilate, destroy. Um, oh, we're doing good. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's the old. Uh, are you opening the top of it? She I mean, the she top done comes it. off. She done, she, done done it. It. she done it. She done it. So she in, inside, <laughs> inside, you find all of the parts to the static generator and a small piece of paper shoved in the corner. Wait, what? This is dope. Oh, That's all right. <laughs> so something written in the, is the language of the Orient. Is it is a static generator. It is a static generator. This is a hundred-year-old <laughs> static generator. Oh. Hundred years prior to now. Are you actually wait, trying wait, to? What is this the <laughs> machine that you were talking about? That the Alecator. The Alecator. Yeah. So wait, it's oh. here. Odd, isn't it? You know there are labels in the cases if anyone ever bothers to. Like no one goes to a museum and reads the labels. It's really <laughs> frustrating. The pictures were. <laughs> what does the label in the case say? The label in the case says the Alecator, 1776, Jirai Hirana, uh, built in Japan. Static electricity generator, uh, traditionally attached to a chemical battery. Well, I mean, if you're looking at it from the right angle, you're I mean, just taking it back. Paper that. <laughs> exactly how I'm looking at it. You're so clever. Does it in any way resemble what um, our dear genius? Oh, nothing given? quite as oh, fancy as that. Th- yeah, that, yeah. Okay. That's no. this is this is this is a Model A. This is this is a uh-huh. this is a Tucker. Mm-hmm. That's a Tesla. Gotcha. Ah. Mm-hmm. For real. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, may May I look around uh, to make sure that I mean, because we've got the lights on, we're in a room full of stuff. Nope. Can I look and make sure that the casket is not here? 
Uh, yeah, I can do a little look around for the casket. Would, be an, would that be an archaeology roll? Uh, I'll take you an archaeology roll for that. Sure. Okay. Can I look to see if I see any jades? Yeah, you can take you can take a look for. Uh, yeah, give me a. Um, Unless you have something that you you, you want to you want to give me a reason why you use it, I would say just a straight intelligence roll. I like question. it. You're Talos and Jaffe, so is there an actual electator in that box? No, sadly. Although it is it is in fact based on the real electator. Uh, oh wow! Actually wow. built by Chandra in 1776. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, That's a good replica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. A prop department don't fuck around. Man. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Dracarana is an interesting historical character. Uh, I highly recommend if you're bored, look him up. He uh, wrote some very, very nice reviews of uh, uh, the best gay brothels in Japan when he was walking around. <laughs> and, and, and a pamphlet on farting. And a pamphlet on farting. Pamphlet on farting? Yes. What's is that, is that oh, what, what you is got that? There? What is it's that to report on um, farting? I'm good. It's, I, as a player, my kanji is about at a second grade level. I, I'll, so. I'll, I'll also say that that kanji is not, in fact, what the. the I, I didn't have time to actually have it translated. Although that, I, I don't remember. It's about did farting. You, did you wing dings the kanji? <laughs> No, I'm, I, I try. I try to at least make a make a a, a bit of a um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Easter egg. If I recall, it's a review of the most recent Sailor Moon musical. I was really <laughs> oh, oh, in a bit of a rush, uh, but at least the signature is correct. Um, do you want to try and translate it, or do you? Uh, who wants to make? Who wants to give it a roll? Let's give it a go. Um, uh, well, we can. You know, um, a bit. I'm sure you're. And Japanese your is travels. far better than me. Well, let's do it together. All right. Yes. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two. All right. And I rolled a 55 looking for jade. Um, anything jade? Anything? Nothing catching your eye. Copy that. Nothing. Th again, a lot of machines in here. It's mostly machinery. Uh, same, yeah, same for the, what was your archaeology roll? No? Um, this room actually is not nearly as packed as some of the others, so it's a little easier to look around and see that this is. Mostly the machine. This is also this is also still open to the public, so this is the very edge of what's closed. So this would be you're right on the border of where things just become chaos. This is probably a bridge too far, but since we're talking about farting, could I say that I brought in a box of Kevin's droppings and I'm going to put it in place of where I found this? Yeah. To really, to the fucker? <laughs> it's London in the 19th century. You probably have some shit in your pocket. I'll lock it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, like San Francisco. Um, yes, I, 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 I think we both succeeded. <laughs> okay, so you get the the best of the. Two. I have different levels of translation that are available. <laughs> oh, I want to hear Japanese. all of them. Um, <laughs> things can go wrong. Or just a really uh, heavy accent. Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, you uh, you uh, you now know what the note <laughs> says. This is our best gift to you. I've discussed at great lengths, lengths with my fellow Franklin, Toda, Daniels, and Fan. We have tried to cast a net around the world. We leave it in your hands to finish the weave. To be known, even itself, is to destroy. Therefore, it fears out sight and would drag us back into its shadows. Oh, it fears our sight, sorry, and would drag us back into its shadows. Good luck. May light and knowledge prevail. Janai Hiraga. This is very flowery. It, what is the it that, that text is referring to? Oh, the shadow. Sure, I don't know. The shadow. Wait, what were the four or five names again? What was it? Probably just a coincidence. Franklin. Maybe. Are there Toda, coincidences, Mr. Goodfellow? Toda. Daniels. Toda. Uh -huh. T O D A, am I saying that right? Toda. Toda. Daniels, Daniels and Fan. And fan. Oh, well, this was created in 1776, and Mr. Benjamin Franklin was around about that time and mm -hmm. experimenting with electricity and keys. Yes. yes. Oh. Make a make a history or archaeology check. Okay. Um, at I feel difficulty. Like a difficulty. Yeah, half half point. Or did you say history? Or or or, uh, or anthropology, <laughs> or archaeology? <laughs> Actually, anthropology. <laughs> history. <laughs> No, there's like no way. Mm -hmm. A lot of no. Okay, I'm never mind. I know a few things about history. You can also make a history or, yes. or anthropology roll at half difficulty. Uh, I'll make it at the thirty six. Uh, uh, so seventy. Just fake. Seventy. So. Uh, so, uh, uh, <laughs> so half difficulty means I have to get. Yeah, I have my little. I have my little. Uh, <laughs> oh, you whoa. kidding? So I need a thirty five. <laughs> you need thirty five. It's just. Just out of reach. Just out of reach. 
That's okay. This, it's right on the mm. tip of my. Ah, I can't remember. Tongue. That's all right. Tongue. Tongue. Tip of your tongue. tongue. I tapped away under my sense. The moon, even to itself, destroys it. Hmm. Therefore, it fears our sight. It fears our sight. And it would drag us back into its shadow. Ah, there's that word again. Yes. May light and knowledge prevail. Well, that's also fairly thematic. Plenty of light. Mm-hmm. One more, I'm so sorry, one more time from the top. Could you translate again? Yes. Forgive me if it's a little stumbly. This is our best gift to you. I have discussed at great length with my fellows, Franklin, Toda, Daniels, and Fan. We have tried to cast a net around the world to leave it in your hands. We leave it in your hands, sorry, once again, still learning, <laughs> to finish That's the weird. weave. To be known, even to itself, destroys it. Therefore, it feels our sight and would drag us back into its shadow. Good luck. May light and knowledge prevail. Hmm. No, even to itself. That's around the world. Why, Miss Codswell. Miss Codswell seems very well equipped to take up that mantle, then, bringing light to the world, yes. I do dabble. <laughs> well, there are myths about darkness and light fighting darkness, and if one were to cast a net of electricity around the world, it would put light everywhere, forcing anything that fears light away. Mm. It was a rather Herculean task, the entire world. Oh, not so Herculean, if you have the right tools, like this little beauty here. I think there should be electricity in every home. A wheel and a home. <laughs> electricity in the homes of poor people. She's a witch. What <laughs> 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 my words? Well, uh, it, it, one is, it is. Can dream. It is worth noting dream, that darling. that you that you did work for a company for two years that that was doing that until they had to close because it was a nightmare and everything was going wrong. So you did you did just get laid off from from Lost from my a job. Words. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go well. <laughs> Worth noting. I'll see you burn in hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, now, high class um, swap meet aside, perhaps we should uh, try to get the thing that the rich guy wants. We are on a bit of a schedule. Um, the next room, perhaps. Where do you want to go? Shall we head to the Egyptian court? That seems a good place to start. I agree. But, yes. <clears throat> so, you walk north. Up. And have we oh, turned the light on in the corner? The lights yet? are on. The lights are yeah. definitely on. Um, it is. It is a. Uh, it is well lit. It's not. It's not beaming, but it is definitely. Uh, to the outside observer, it would probably just uh, look like work is being done. I'm sure work has been being done uh, at all hours, thanks to these bloody cats. Mm-hmm. Um, so you do. You can make your way to the Egyptian exhibit with. Little to no fanfare. Very good. As we walk, I talk to Mr. Goodfellow. It seems Mr. Haraga was a believer as well, if I interpret that correctly. Well, we've been speaking to the other side for thousands of years, Mm. and our understanding evolves and changes with the passing of the years, but the core remains the same. We're all just reaching for the same truth and describing it in different ways, I imagine. Hmm. Pardon my ego, Mr. Goodfellow, but speaking to the other side is a bit quaint and pedestrian. (laughs) I would be careful what you attempt to reach for. There are scary things on the other side. You sound versed yourself. The things I've seen, you wouldn't want to wish on your worst nightmares. <laughs> Shall we continue on? Yes. yes certainly. Um, do we see, uh, do we need to be stealthy? Are there other people in these rooms that were attempting to enter? Um, you don't see anybody yet. It's you, you seem to, actually, honestly, because of the hour and, and because no one's really paying attention. I think you kind of have the run of the place. And is this a fountain? That is a giant 
bloody. Do you want to? Do you do you want to go take a look at the fountain on the way to the Egyptian court? I do. I'm quite the fan. <laughs> <laughs> is this the, the three layer, three tiered fountain you were talking? Mm-hmm. It is a phenomenal piece of engineering. It is beautiful. Um, sadly, can't show you these until later. But uh, just so I get my description correct of it, uh, correct, I'm going to. Is it the pictures of all of our possessed bodies? It is, in fact. <laughs> uh, I, I know what all of you look like when you're dead. <laughs> Um, Those are in Talison's bedside. A series, table, it's actually, <laughs> it's a series of layered, uh, almost crystal chandeliers that are just cascading water pours over them, almost like, almost like a dining room that is just sitting in the rain. It's just these beautiful, beautiful arcs oh, so. of glass and stone with crystals hanging from them, and the water pouring down them in these in these beautiful streams, and several high pressure, uh, three high pressure streams uh, making their way through the front and two side uh, chunks of the uh, uh, of the fountain. There, uh, are you taking a, a, a serious look at it? I'd like to. There is also a plaque uh, uh, on your end of it, if you guys are heading to the Egyptian court. There's, in fact, a, there's a, a, a plaque that can be read as well. I would mind him <laughs> nonchalantly striding up and Do you reading want, as I toss a... And might I say, as a museum employee, I would really employ you all to read the plaques. We put a lot of work into them. <laughs> any, any, any coins in the bottom of the fountain? No, people. Oh, uh, quite a few. <laughs> I, I will. Toss a coin. In. Toss a coin in the fountain. All right. Uh, do you want me to read it, or do you want to read it? Because I have the I have the plaque here. Mm-hmm. If you would at, like to at, read. Your, at your preference. Uh, I enjoy your voice. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a voice that's uh, launched a thousand shipwrecks. The plaque, the plaque reads, very true. O Crystal Palace, when I stood within thy walls, not the first time or the second, I had sought those gleaming halls. Far before me, in dim distance, stretched that fairy-like arcade, glorious objects faintly looming through the half-mysterious shade. All my parted earthly treasures, some that I may see no more, till we walk in the light together on the golden Hades shore. O oh, thou source of light eternal, hear the nations when they pray, and through life's long night of darkness, guide them into perfect day. William, make peace, Thackeray. Delightfully with you. This, uh, this plaque seems to have been uh, um, somewhat a recent addition, uh, probably uh, within the last 15 years. It's, it's covering a, it's been bolted on covering a, a previous plaque, is what it looks like. It is a copper plate, if anything, more than a plaque, I suppose. Oh, that source of light eternal. You're obsessed with light here, aren't they? They are. Any symbols, sure. logos, it's, it's a crystal on that it's No, shade just uh, just uh, just the, the just the four yeah. bolts that are kind of holding it onto the uh, to the to the masonry. Bolts or are they um, bolts? Um, they are they are bolts. Smooth. If you had a, if you had a screwdriver, it would not it would not help you. Yeah. But they are they don't look they're jeweler's bolts. They're not necessarily a. Uh, they're, they're tough, like we're not, you know, who knows? Are they on that good and tight? Far before me in dim distance oh, stretched that fairy like arcade, glorious objects faintly looming through the half mysterious shade, all my parted earthly treasures. In the arcade? Well, the, the whole place is an arcade, really. Mm-hmm. Yes, but. But specifically the electric was. arcade? Is the is the plaque on on this end of mm-hmm. the fountain? Mm-hmm. Right at the front. I'm gonna fiddle with one of the bolts. Um, you're gonna fiddle with the plaque. Mm-hmm. It's a little loose. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, it's spinning, but it's it's the plaque is just like not to not to be too inside baseball. Um, you ever attempted to, uh, to pull the sword, the Excalibur sword from the stone at Disneyland? Mm-hmm. It's it's got it's got just enough give to irritate a child for hours. <laughs> I say f- <laughs> definitely not from experience. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's a it, it's it's definitely a. Again, this place has seen better days, and they really ought to get a man in. So to speak. Captain can yank it off. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, are we removing this? I was uh, enjoying the rhyme. Um, are you a poet, <laughs> Captain? 
No, I also don't read very often, I suppose. Oh. Not enough. Um, could I try well, you and... You did that beautifully, anyway. Thank you. Could I try and use my cane to... Uh, <laughs> Well, the cane is the cane itself is 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 too thick to 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 slip underneath the uh, no corner or edge to pry. Um, I mean, there are corners and edge to pry, but the, the, your cane is is a cane. Mm-hmm. I mean, you would need something something thinner to 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 pry properly. I mean, kind of just like uh, it. do we see do I see anyone else looking? Only only the the companions that your employer gave you. Do me a favor and take a step back, will you? Um. All right. And I'll take the, the top of the cane and I will remove the sword Shh. from underneath it. Cannot believe you you convinced me to let you have that. <laughs> Sorry, a relic of the second, second Afghan war, mm-hmm. an officer and all that. <clears throat> and I will stick it under and try to pry open. Um, I was going to make this a harder run. Uh, make it a make it a strength check. Straight up. Should be good. Baby. Come on. Forty. That's Nine, yes, sixty, which is, yeah, just a regular success. It takes some doing, and you don't quite pry all of them off, but just enough that it kind of slides off a bit. Oh man, this is some. You just did some damage to the to the fountain. Um, I mean, the fountain's still operating, but you did just just. Yeah, you just you just uh, you gave it a good a good pry, and it definitely has has kind of unhinged off. Okay. Um, they really need to do some work on this place, and you just probably cost them a bit more money. I think our employer is very wealthy. It was you, what you can see now, though, is that <coughs> that plate was covering a time capsule. Oh, oh. oh. I got it. Oh shit! Oh, his things that he left. His precious treasures. Right. Well, most buildings had them. Uh, it was not unusual to uh, to usually put under a deeper stone uh, some sort of time capsule. Uh, usually, in the christening of a, of a of a large building like this, you would fill a box, a airtight box, with a bunch of ephemera of the time that it was built, and then pour the concrete over it so that you know, 300 years from now or otherwise, people were supposed to open it. Um, something like this would have probably been more of a please open in 50 years, and there would be some record in the in the. How long has it been then? We don't know because this one is not labeled well. It's just got a poem, hmm. uh, which is odd. Uh, yeah. Another uh, poem. Oh, the, yeah, the poem. The poem that we read. Captain. Can I reach in and remove the capsule? You do. You there's a there's a bag inside. Uh, there's just a, a small, rough bag. A lap. Uh, yeah, it's just like a like a silk velveteen, but it's rotting pretty pretty nicely. Hmm. Can I make a survival check on this yeah, bag? Hmm? See if the bag survives. Yeah. If there's something weird about it or a smell sure. or something. Sure. <laughs> I didn't make it. Could I help her with that? It smells winter fresh. No, it, it's <laughs> definitely mildewy. It's just gross. But there is something inside the bag. Well. Any objections? No, I like the present. Mm. Open the bag. And no oh. present like the time capsule. No. Are you, are you I all love right? presents. <laughs> Thackeray. Thackeray wasn't was, was not much of a fine in the book. Much of a sorcerer. Contents from you the find an odd red crystal. No. An odd red crystal. A very very odd red crystal. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> um, I'd be careful with it, Ooh. but yeah, you found <laughs> yes. it's a little, it's a little Gilly. odd. It, a red stone. It's, it is a red stone. Is it red iris? It's not squishy chance? like that. I don't know. It, it is not squishy <laughs> like that. Okay. Uh, and don't Let's don't yeah don't don't prod it too much, mm. but it is. Definitely is it is an odd ruby red stone. It's circular in form. <laughs> and it has veins, veins of of, <laughs> of, a, of, a, of a black onyx material that run through it. This particular one forming an odd pentagram or, or five pointed star. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, you uh, roll a. I mean, Mr. Goodfellow, do you sense anything? Have I seen anything like that in my travel? Um, give me an occult roll. Ooh, that's the first one, right? Mm-hmm. I have nothing. I don't have a good occult. Mm. 
So it's just point oh five. Uh, well, uh, um, yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah, 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 or, or you, you can use uh, th- throw, throw me another stat if you don't mind. Uh, intelligence is eighty, or I'll psychology let, is fifty. I'll let you. T- I'll let you take psychology is fifty. Yeah. No. No, not off. I, I think. I think you're. Uh, uh, unless. I don't remember if I put it in your book, but unless I put it in your book, which I, you're welcome to check check your notes to see if it's there. But if it isn't there, then you don't know. A little unsettling. Well, if red stones are very common in mythologies of cults throughout continents. Cults. Mm-hmm. Might I do an occult check? Mm-hmm. You can do a cult or a or an uh, uh, anthropology or archaeology check. And does this? Look like, like the same one that I saw. That's right. You've seen one. <laughs> yeah, it so is. Uh, you absolutely recognize yes, this. Yes, Anna. Uh, what is? What is that? Well, I've seen one of these before. Wait. Oh, yeah. Have. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, yes. I it succeeded. didn't have a star though. It was a different. It was a different symbol. Okay. It was a spiral. Uh, success. You have read quite a bit uh, on. The possible interconnectedness of all these different these different belief systems, and the red gems show up over and over and over again. Often described as a source of um, power, mm-hmm. whether it be uh, light, heat, or emanation, um, there are. Definitely, some some. Uh, you've also read of some possible ways to activate these gems, although it would require maybe sitting down and 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 fiddling with it for a bit. But again, that's that's a uh, that's for that's for later. But there's definitely there's there's definitely you you know what this is, and this is definitely an activatable uh, point of power, according to your reference, of some kind. I've seen one of these at the Lakir Monastery. Good notes. In Ladakh. This is a very powerful relic. They keep theirs locked in a temple. They call it the Red Iris Stones. And they're believed to guard arcane doorways and protect this realm from that which should not enter. (laughs) If no one has any objection, I would like to call dibs. On the stone. Oh, the stone. I might have an objection, but we'll talk about it later. Yes, yes. Uh, locked away in a monastery temple. What did you say? Yes, in India. And it it, it guards a doorway. Yes, the monks of Lakir have been very adamant at attempting to defeat a creature that they have called the Village of the Hungry Knight. Ah. Is that an exact translation? Uh, I believe so. I'm not entirely sure how a singular monster can be called a village, but... Must be a very big monster. I agree. Its presence is unquestionable. Wait, of what, the stone? Yes. Well, Yes. Did you want to hold it, Septimus? Not I. Ah. Make a power roll really quickly, Septimus. Ooh, shit. Uh, ooh, I rolled the wrong one. I could pretend like the 10 is a one, or I could roll that again. 25 mm. uh, is under 40, so. Um, so a success for whatever just happened. You, um, you, sense, uh, you sense specifically what's in your notes from the, from the, from the uh, you, you sense the thing, you sense the, the from, from your notes. It is a risk to hold. Oh. Like I'm doing now? <laughs> I thought you weren't worried about stuff like this. I'm not so. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Badger, I would be very careful. Roll a constitution check. <gasps> no Shut up. Way. Really? 14. I succeed. I you crushed it. succeed. <laughs> Everything's fine. Do you feel faint? Dizzy? No. Strange? <laughs> well, let's. Do our best to perhaps respect the customs of others, then. And I would rescind my dibs. And Badger, I want you to be in constant communication with us. If you feel anything untoward, anything out of the ordinary at all. If it would make everyone feel much better, can we just put it back in the bag and then you can just carry the bag? Excellent idea. Perhaps that will be enough. 
your appearance drops ten points while you smell of the bag. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's precious. Ten I can't points. lose that. Come on, man. I, I, would, I would really like, drop that bag at some point. That's that, that's rank. He's just so unattractive. It's making me. Most handsome boy. It's just a shower away from from pretty again. Damn. Oh well. Can of, uh, can of Dapper Dan. Shall we try the Egyptian wing? Yes. Uh, on our way in, would I would I have known about the electrical? Have I would I have heard about it? Um, no. Okay. Although you know what a static electricity generator right. is, it's yeah, it's a big crank that they right. that they they rev up, and then the static electricity charges, and they normally stick two little prongs in that thing, and then you get a little, uh, you start to like get an energy tr uh, charge from cool. it. Cool. Hannah, would I? That would you mind if I took a Hana? Is it sorry? A Hana. Hana. Yes. Would you mind if I took a look at that? Oh, not at all. And is there a roll I can make to sort of ascertain anything widgy about this guy? Um, make a widgy roll. Yeah, you that's can make a, a you can make an engineering roll or a. a that's interesting. What's this? Oh, that's a key. I'm actually supposed to. Oh, all right. All right. Yes, <laughs> a key. <laughs> that's fine. I don't know. For what? It's talisman. and then that might be keys and things. They're everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes things have keys. This seems to have a false. There's something in here. Oh, oh. I didn't even need a roll. Is there a keyhole? Anywhere? I'm looking. Do you see anything? This is a breakaway Perhaps something. It slides. It seems like. Does it slide? Um, this is really? so dope. I don't even know what that's. It's a puzzle box. It's up there. Right. Hmm? Oh. I'll pull that do anything. Right, this it's to cut here, it so. There another. Should I pull on it? I don't want to break Wait, it. Wait, try sliding, oh. perhaps? He seemed he to be okay yeah. with me to be. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, oh shit! Teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> what? <gasps> um. Got yeah, cruise bombs. Can anyone read this? Yeah, you die instantly. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> There's also an object that does. Oh, oh there's more. But wait, there's, there's more. more. Coin. Well, the coin is actually a token for the thing that was actually making noise, which yes, will not fit in that because that's right? smaller than the real box. Mm. Inside, you find um, a, a a small bag, um, and this is so you can display it later, so that people at home can see it. But you find this bag inside, and this was the thing that was making a little bit of a ru ruckus. Does this one stink as well. <laughs> can I, can I no, this, one, this is actually this is weirdly the dry. It smells it better, and I get my ten points back. Mm. <gasps> Here's a little, if you want to just leave it somewhere so you don't have to. This seems sketchy. Oh, it's very sketchy. Um, you guys are, are doing quite well. It's, uh, <laughs> what does it say? Uh, move I my giant ass in. map from the center. Um, what did you roll? Uh, I can come uh, hard, to this. Hard success. Mm. Oh, sorry. Do. For the translation. Hard success? Yes. Okay. That All the do. electricity, Alexandra. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's to be fair, this is not a difficult piece of translation since it's such a short sentence. In the same handwriting <laughs> as the previous note okay. is that. A dark reflection can reveal intentions. Be safe. What is that? What did you find? It's a black mirror. Where did it go? My God! Oh, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is black. It's a know. small black mirror. It's Perhaps black mirror. we should look around corners and. Um, it's reflective, isn't it? And the first text that you read talked about the entity, this something, being shown. Itself. <laughs> to know itself would destroy it. What did this man know? Does anyone with um, more knowledge of this kind of thing know what this is? Actually, it goes in a look. <laughs> Thank you. Does anyone have any more insight than that? Thanks, Grog. Thanks, Grog. Uh, <laughs> <you're talking laughs> a cult or a, a cult or anthropology uh, difficult. Uh, a cult or, or archaeology difficult. Okay. Uh, wait, do I have to pick? I have to say which pick, one I'm pick, rolling. Pick one. Pick what's more favorable. Doctor uh, Pocket. What's, whatever's higher, the higher number. Uh, all right, we'll try for the archaeology. <laughs> Yep. No. Either of you ladies or yeah, anybody? Um, <laughs> and on, and this is this is archaeology, is what you saying? Mm, yeah, archaeology or or occultism or occult. Um, would I roll the same thing I did for occult before? Mm -hmm. Since I didn't, what was that? Was that? You let me do psychology, didn't you? 
Uh, yes. As a stand-in. Yes, 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 yes. That's okay. that's fair. Success from archaeology. No, no again. Success from archaeology. Yes. Um, the 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 symbol on the key uh, appears to be uh, connected to some sort of uh, Roman glycon cult, perhaps. Roman light cult. Uh, glycon. Roman glycon. Uh, a, 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 a later Roman deity with a snake with human hair is the whole thing. Oh, oh snake. A Roman human? deity. There's a but Roman, a Roman a Roman, Roman. deity. Uh, uh, um, a late Roman deity. Good roll, well done. Kind of a Medusa-esque quality to it. Yes, backwards, yeah. Strange, was there anything actually relating to any sort of mechanism at all in here? Um, the mechanism works, there was just a, I mean, like, you could get it to work. It would make it would make a static charge in an electric generator, but it would be, it's hand crank. And it's mundane compared to the other shit that's inside. <laughs> I perhaps, perhaps, and, and I say this with such love and affection. Uh, Tucker was a little bit too forward. It, it's a, it's a Model A, and that's a, and that's a Tesla. Yeah, it's. it's hold up, hold up. I'm not gonna be able to let this go. This deity, with human hair, it had human hair blonde, or hair made out of little people. Long, no, uh, long, long hair. <laughs> good, okay. good point. Good point. Okay. <laughs> well observed. Who doesn't like Lycons? Lycons great. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> likes Lycons. Snake with human hair. No, we didn't. Who's this? William and Makepeace Thackeray. Do any of us know? Um, uh, that would be a. Uh, that would be a. Uh, um, that would be a. Uh, Intelligence or education? Uh, education role for anybody. Oh, good. Who wants me? To. Yes. Sure. One, one moment. Uh, my education's really right, good, actually. Right with you. Um, I have a hard success. Hard success. Ooh, extreme baby. Uh, he's he's um, <laughs> he's a, a living, well-known poet. That's why I don't know it. <laughs> I'll just um, not serve in the, in the war. No. <laughs> Give this back to you. Thank you. But well done. Good work. He's a popular poet. Okay. Um. Well, I, I don't should we go to the yes. Now, Egyptian room or the Roman? We, before we go, um, I, I have to ask uh, Septimus. Yes. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm beginning to think I'm the only one with any sense here. I am not. I'm messing with it. <laughs> sure. I'm right here. <laughs> Literally right here. <laughs> no. That is basically a mirror. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm so pleased. I do think we should have that at the ready for whoever is leading the charge. All I know is if we find any green glass, I'm out. <laughs> green glass? Yeah. Why? Red stones, green glass, black mirrors, these are all symbols that recur throughout mythologies. I think we're doing something more than just a delivery. Like what? I'm, I don't know the talk of powers and beings and shadow and dark. We may be stumbling into something far greater than what Mr. Merriweather has led us to believe. Do you think he is part of the occult? Possibly. Maybe he's um, part of the New Age group, along with Franklin and Toda and Daniels. Well, it's all very well, popular. It's an old age group. Very popular for salons to speak of things like tarot and astrology and, and uh, shadows and monsters. It's, it's the trendy thing to do. I can tell you that Mr. Merriweather is an enthusiast, a collector. For the keeper of his house, I can tell you he has many of these sorts of Artifacts on display. I'm sure it is merely avoiding paying a high price for such an item. And remind exactly. us, how long have you known Merriweather, Mr. Badger? A few years. Um, actually, the finest job I've had. He's a good man. Odd. Into the shadows and such, but mm. a good man. Has an appetite for the strange and unusual, then? A bit. Who doesn't? Yes, the success will always seem to, somehow. Never of any word. What's that? The Egyptian room? Yes. Yes. You make your way north up into the Egyptian room. This section has been partitioned off to be a little more cozy and a little, um, 
it's a feeling of sacredness, I suppose, by it. They've reconstructed a, 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 a chunk of arc, uh, arch from what are obviously pilfered pieces of shrine and temple, mm. uh, and attempted to uh, reconstruct them as best as possible to kind of give a, uh, uh, the appearance of walking into a temple. Mm. Um, as you walk in, there are uh, statues and uh, tablets with hieroglyphs on either side, statues of Egyptian gods and goddesses going up to a large uh, shrine to Isis and Osiris at the very, very front with uh, a couple of boxes set to left or right, including a couple more uh, lanterns, if anybody wants to grab one. There's two or three hanging around. Uh, you'll find them by your feet. And also, you can actually turn that one on if you like. If you hit the button once, it does light up. Button? I will as well. Not that you need it right now, but like, yeah. Oh. Oh, click it one more time. Does it flicker? Yeah, click it one more time. Okay. One more time again. Well. There you go. Yeah. Uh, double click it again. There's this arcane light. There you go. Extinguish it and replace it with that. There we go. <laughs> also, as we're walking, I'm coming no closer than 10 feet to Badger. Sure. Or, uh, <laughs> or the smell or the occult uh, gem. And do remember these are hot, so be careful. Your poison. Uh, hot to touch. I've burned my hands on these. And these, of course, are electric, but the real thing is hot enough that I briefly thought it would be fun to get to get the real thing, and then I remember that I burned myself the last time. <laughs> uh, you there you go. Locked boxes, boxes with keyholes. Um, lock, lock. Lock Take a look boxes. around. Uh, uh, see, see, see what you see. Is a uh, either a um, spot hidden or just a straight intelligence check if you don't want to get too deep Let's into things. Let's go with that. I will search for my mm. jade. A spot hidden will get me something better. I'm I get something a little, a little odder if you're looking for odder. I, I get a success. Spot hidden. Single expense for 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 a uh, spot. spot. I also get a success for a spot. I also did. A success for small team. Hmm. Let me find my notes. Um, looking for odd or looking for just things? Jade, specifically. No jade to be found okay. that you can see, although there are a couple crates that are closed, and, and I'm sure if you asked, you could pry them open. Okay. Um, you, I'm looking for a box with a keyhole. You find no box with a keyhole. But you do find, again, a couple crates, uh, a couple lanterns, and uh, actually there is a worker's toolkit. Ooh! So, uh, sitting that you can uh, purloin. I don't know where I put that, or else I would give you your, your props. Uh, although they're just adorable and not really useful. I think of one you that look. might be what we're searching for. You do not see anything immediately, but again, you haven't opened the caskets yet. Uh, and is anybody, and uh, did you do a roll as well? Uh, not yet. Spotted in, 45. Yes. Um, a hard success. A hard success. Nice. Okay, oh, you, uh, what you notice as you were walking through this exhibit <coughs> Is that there's something off about the uh, uh, statue of Isis? Something off. There's something unusual. In the statue itself. Mm-hmm. The normally the crown goes into a pair of horns that are holding holding a red sun or a gold sun. <laughs> this sun is black. Ah. Oh. Is it uh, reflective? A bit from where you are, but you would have to get closer. I go to uh, examine. Is, is the statue reachable? Is it not? You could you could get up onto it. Yeah, it's it, it's a, it's a, it's it's slightly bigger than human size, but you could get up and 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 probably inspect and touch it if you were so inclined. Yes, I'd like to inspect and touch it. See if the uh, the sun circle comes off. Doctor Pocket. Um, is something amiss? Yes, this image of Isis. Is not a normal uh, symbology. Someone has, for some reason, made this differently. Uh, I need to see what this is. Are you trying to get all the way up there? Yes, could you give me a lift? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're going to try and lift and you're going to try and dislodge it? Mm -hmm. Make a. I just want to see. Actually, I want to see if it 
is attached as a statue should be, or if it is loose. Um, okay, <clears throat> you can just make a make a standard strength check to lift him up there, uh, and then uh, black sun. Make a it is a black sun. Make a make a, an intelligence check. Extreme uh, success. Extreme success. You've got him well handled. Uh, intelligence. <laughs> Just an intelligence check. What is that? <laughs> Go, Doctor. Uh, <laughs> Twelve times. Extreme. Mm. Ooh, he's smart. It definitely much, much, much like a much like a, a piece of uh, much like a piece of uh, uh, of. Of campaign furniture, this uh, statue is in fact designed to come apart in pieces from its original design. This mirror is big. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a much larger than that tiny one that you well, found. Bear any similarity to this stuff? Uh, 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 yes. Not. Not. A, I mean, there there are obvious differences, and and if you're close enough to examine it, you probably can already see it's not the flat. Um, it's not the flat. Black. It's, not, it's not the flat black that you're used to. There, there seems to be this piece has a little bit more of a concave build to it. It's not a flat oh. piece, uh, almost like a dish. Mm. And it's also there's something about it. It's been treated in some way with some with some uh, chemical, perhaps. And you can almost make out there's there's like some scripting on it, but it's very very hard to see. Oh, how are we doing, Doctor? <clears throat> uh, there's. There's writing on what is supposed to be a sun. Uh, is uh, there any way to read it? Um, Do you need more light? Pass up a lantern or bring it down here? Can we bring it down? You can make an attempt. Well, wait, how heavy is that? You're not. You have no idea how heavy oh, it is. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Are you going to make a strength check? I'm going to make a strength check. Make a make a yeah strength check with with, with difficulty. It, it, it is difficulty. Oh, all right. Uh oh, this is not good. Uh, Forty strength seventeen. Oh, lucky fucking. You Russia. have you have lifted it, <laughs> and so you're now holding it. Make a dexterity check with difficulty. <laughs> Oh fuck balls! No, that's a bad failure. Why? Why did the man who needs a cane <laughs> because of a war injury? Fair enough. Oh, you need the cane. I thought it was just an affectation. <laughs> I, I mean, in. I'll try to dive and catch if it falls if it comes to that. It's there's a there's a there's a tumble happening here. Mm. There's a bit of a tumble. Do you want to try and who are you are you trying to catch people or object? <laughs> uh, object. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going to be a disadvantage, uh, disadvantage uh, dexterity. Dexterity. Dexterity at disadvantage. Oh. So, oh my gosh, so under 30 at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. I would also like to run for it. Yeah, can we all make a dive? No. What is I'm, can I be throw bodies? I mean, I think he got in. All right, I'm, I'm kind of. I, I, yeah. This sure. is, this uh, is not right. football. Yes. <laughs> um, Crash. So. Sadly, oh no. One of them But is it, really? is it metal? Is it, metal? Oh, shit. it was not metal. <sighs> it was glass. <gasps> and it shatters loudly. I uh, rush to the door to see if anyone has. Lantern's heard. off? Lantern's off? Wait, is it light in this room? It's still light. It's oh, still, still light. light, fuck it. Lantern's <laughs> off. <laughs> I love the double click. This thing is ruined. <gasps> um, completely and utterly ruined. Uh, Does anyone that's very socially adept want to maybe oh, that's all right. is, is, uh, skitter out and see Mr. Whalen on the way? Mr. Whalen, um, you don't. Are you listening for him? Yes. Roll, yeah. listen. I'll run to the door. Um, oh. It's okay. It happens, you know. Sometimes oh. you shatter. <laughs> Shadow artifacts. Egyptian artifacts. Seems fine. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't hear anything. All right. Are you still listening? I, I'm going to uh, go to the entrance of this room, just sort of dudley more against the side of the uh, door frame in case anyone comes. I think we should make quick work of what we were looking right, for in um, here and then leave. I start. Yeah? Uh, I, I go 
we yeah. I'm just yeah. Yeah. try to brush the shattered Keep. shit underneath something. Suddenly there's a popping sound out of nowhere. And the lights begin to flicker a bit. <gasps> oh. And suddenly the power goes out. Just like that. You are now in the dark other than your lanterns. <gasps> Is everyone all right? Perfect. This doesn't work, does it? I mean. Nightmare fuel. What does it? What do you mean, does it work? Is there a way I can use this to generate light? I mean, technically speaking, oh, well, yeah, um, yeah, you know how this device works. So, that by its nature turns heat, electri- heat into electricity, so you would need some sort of energy or heat source to connect it to, and then you would have to wire it into the main wiring plug that you saw earlier. You could bypass it, you looked at it long enough to know that you could absolutely bypass it, especially with the tools you now have, but you would need to f- create some sort of heat um, you would, Heat? That may be enough. Possibly something a little heavier, though. Ida, what did you do to the lights? I didn't do anything to the lights. Well, you saw I was right on this I... crate. Well, we have lanterns. It may perhaps, have shorted. Let's and just... Perhaps this is maybe a little less uh... conspicuous. Yes. yes. The building is, is in disarray. Probably just shorted. I could go back and try to. Anything. Everything's a little off. Can I reach down and grab a few of the shattered pieces of this thing and shove them into the bag along with the (laughs) 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 You may. I I look into the darkness and to the shadows and start paying attention to the shadows. They're very dark. Can I do a listen roll? You can do a listen roll. Mm. Ooh, yeah. I think that I got that hard. What's a fifth of 50? I'm not good at math. Uh, Even though 10, I'm an engineer, 10, 10. I did an extreme then. <laughs> extreme! Extreme! Um, extreme! Definitely the music that was coming from the, from the uh, main, main party seems a little muffled. Perhaps there's actually the short uh, caused some problems in other parts of the building. Uh, that would explain the that problem. In the distance, there's. I mean, maybe it's just your. Maybe it's just adrenaline, but uh, the building is settling a little. Uh, yeah, it's nothing unusual. You can hear a little bit more than normal, though, because the power that runs the fountain seems to have have been cut. Mm. But you don't hear anybody moving around out there. Oh, well, let's get on with it then. Can I just suggest, between the Roman glycon symbol and the ca- fact that the casket we're looking for is limestone, perhaps the Roman uh, room yes, might be. Agreed. Because it seems like they're placing items in the realms that they are connected to. Seems yes. like as good an idea as any, shall we? As, as we yes. exit the Egyptian room, uh, so the fountain is no longer making sound. No. It, is there water in the bottom of? Well, there's still water in it, but, water. The, but the pressure, the pressure hoses okay. have obviously been cut. That's <laughs> unfortunate. We'll have to be a bit quieter. Let's check the Roman room. If we don't find it there, we can come back and check these crates. Careful. Yes. Um. And you. Do you, there is, is a restlessness it? growing. A what? A restlessness? restlessness in the air. You're probably just sensing my frustration. Let's move. <laughs> Wait, the Roman room. Yeah, yeah. Moving <clears throat> towards Moving. the Roman room. Stop. Everyone make a stealth Stay. roll. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> a what? Stealth. stealth. Oh. oh, God. Terribly. Got it. Super fish. How many successes, how many fails? Success. Success, success, fail. I love it. Success, <laughs> fail, fail. Fifty-fifty. Ah. 50 Considering where we are in the game, I'm going to let it slide. Woo-hoo. Okay. <laughs> you may not be so lucky later on. Looks like to know what that meant. No. Tentacles. 
so moving on to the Roman room. Where is my Eldritch Horror? <laughs> um, the Roman room has been. It's completely empty. <laughs> it's honestly, there's not a lot of, of of Roman antiquities in here. It's also very hard to see because it's very dark. You're only doing this by oil light, by by lanterns. Um, the Roman room is been overtaken by crates. There's a couple um, couple antiquities, a few helmets, a few other things. Uh, you would have to go in deeper to see if there. I don't necessarily know what you're looking for. But uh, you would have to do a, a, a very, it would be a difficult investigation of the room with the current light level. Are there any statues? There are no <laughs> statues in the Roman room. Hmm. Hmm. That's yeah. odd. That is odd. Maybe they're not out of the crates. We'll keep Perhaps out. they've, they're uh, Roman. Oh, oh my god. The building. Can I, can I check the crates? <laughs> hmm? Again, um, let's at least open one of these up. Yeah, can I can I check the, yes. the labeling on the crates to see if any of it corresponds with the um, shipping uh, paperwork that I had to do? Yes, to send that's it. very clever, actually. Um, that that will give you a, sl a slightly easier time. Uh, you can take a minute and just do a straight intelligence roll to see if you if this matches any of the of the numbers that you put forward. Come on, pockets. Dark pockets. Oh, no. How bad of a failure? Um, six over my oh. intelligence. Oh, six, six over. Okay, over. so that's not a huge failure. Um, is, is it a luck can spending? You huh? could. Okay, that's actually a thing. This is a thing you can do. You can spend. You can. Uh, you can spend luck. Thank you for. for yeah. You can spend luck. Well, you can be spend luck. You can try again. Although you only have a certain uh, amount of luck. So if he spent six, then it would go down from whatever your current yeah. luck level. I got so much. Oh. I wasn't going to let you start <laughs> using that until Oops, until right. this point. But no, this is the correct point. Well done. Okay. Thank you for. You can spend luck to succeed, or you can. You can push. You can push a number down by that number. By that. Right. So, so if he if he spends six luck and push it down to. But it's my intelligence. That's okay. cool. Is there any limitation to that? Like, could you blow it all in one go? Not that I'm going to. Um, as far as I know, I you think it's just. But then you only have a certain amount. Like, yeah. Yeah. Sure. So if my intelligence is seventy, I got to push it down to sixty-nine to succeed. Uh, or, yeah. se or is it seventy or below? Uh, seventy or below. So okay, you so can. Yeah, I believe it's seventy. I was waiting. I was like, is anyone going to uh, say nice? Is anyone equal or. <laughs> <laughs> equal or. Okay. Children. So. Uh, <laughs> or. Uh, oh no! You have to be one below. I'm so sorry. Okay, so so I'll, yeah, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll push it's, it down. It's all the other six. I'll use seven. I'll use seven luck. Okay. Um, thankfully, you, you 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 take a second. You're a little thrown by everything. It's very dark. It is very dark, um, and the moonlight is being, a, for some strange reason, a little more uh, uncooperative than before. Passing clouds, maybe something. It's just. It's making it difficult to pay attention. Uh, none of these numbers uh, correspond with uh, on the crates to, to anything that you would that you would recognize. Okay. Should we go back and check the crates in the Egyptian room just in case? I suppose so. Uh, if you do, I could try and you know contact Mr. Whalen and let him know everything's okay. I could also try to jerry rig this into the system and get some light back. Unless we feel comfortable doing this by lantern, although I'll need to. Would, would all of these lanterns be enough? But then we'd be wasting our only light source. Yeah. I'll head with Mr. Pockets back to the Egyptian room to check the labels on the crates and help him there. He didn't go to medical school for you to call him Mr. Pockets. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't go to medical school. I didn't go to medical school, school either. Period. <laughs> PH, not M, D. <laughs> so the yes. two of you are are going to, uh, to split off to the Egyptian. The Egyptian. And what are the rest find, of you going to do? I'll go find Mr. Wayland. You're to gonna you're gonna walk towards Mr. Wayland. Yeah, and what are the rest of you doing? To, to retip. I, I will also go. I'll I'll go with Mr. Wayland. Excellent. Yes. Go charm him. Yes. We have a I rapport. I suppose we'll be right back. I shall keep you company. Um, I don't think any start with the two of you. Then okay. uh, start with the two of you. Um, you go to the Egyptian room to. Uh, actually, no, we're going to do you last. I'm, okay. I'm making some decisions. Uh, all right, who who of the other who of the I'm other group? To the Byzantine court. Nope. Shall we? I don't know. Might as well. You want to push on ahead? 
That's a bit of a backtrack, but if right, otherwise we're just sitting here with our... Don't you have the key in the Roman room? I l- oh, yes, can I look for anything that has a... Um... You can make a, yeah, just a... Uh, Roman, uh, Roman room, right? Pick pick, a, pick either a, a hidden or a, just a straight intelligence. Straight intelligence, because I'm looking for look. something mm-hmm. specific. Mm-hmm. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, I crushed it, though. You crushed it. I crushed it. Damn. There is, in fact, uh, in the corner, a large uh, metal chest uh, ornate with silver uh, silver inlays uh, and a strange coiling, like they've they've hammered the silver out to look almost like like a reptile skin. Uh, it's beautiful, and there are three uh, uh, cut pieces of stone set into the top in a in sort of a, a cross fashion of red, black, and green. Oh, look at this! I bet the key might fit in here. Mm. Shall I pop it open? Mm. You want to go ahead now, and it's just the two of us, or oh, what could happen? Okay. The casket might be in here. I take several steps back. <laughs> <laughs> RP. Uh, shall I? Fuck it. Yes. Click. You open it. Mm-hmm. You turn the key. <laughs> the double question. Yes. And lean in from from yes. just behind you, just out of the corner of your eye. You, you just hear a make a sanity roll. <laughs> a what? A sanity, a sanity roll. roll. Come on, baby. Oh, I crash. fucking crushed it, dude. Sorry. Wow. So sane. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kids throwing stones at glass. It's terrible. <laughs> Stop trying to make sanity rolls happen. <laughs> They're not going like to happen. That's a six. You are. My Iron mind flat. <laughs> What's the phrase? Some of us are just so sharp we could cut ourselves. Um, <laughs> you open the casket. Oh, yeah. Sanity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's inside? Well. Yeah. Oh, God. Let me consult. You find. Tickle me Cthulhu. Which of my. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu, Cthulhu. An odd. Stone, another red stone, but this one has a strange, like almost snake-like tentacled uh, shape to it. Another, another one of the crystals. I take another few steps back. <laughs> oh, you don't like these, right? Here, is there something? Uh, was this actually was this actually in a bag? Uh, it was in a bag. I'll slip it in. Very well done. So you found that. You so moving on to I wish Travis. That I did. <laughs> um, you are going to walk towards uh, towards the front, along, towards, with, uh, along with Hana. Oh, uh, the two of you are going that way. Yes. Uh, one second. Uh, Captain. Uh, yes. I'd like to thank you for your discretion. But of course. <laughs> what? Mm. I'm sorry. Mr. Merriweather was grateful for your participation in this venture. <sighs> It's a bit of a lark, isn't it? It's really why I agreed. Mommy and Daddy don't need to know about the necklace, though. Still, there are definite bonuses to this little adventure. Mm. So really, I should be thanking Mr. Merriweather for finding me red-handed with that necklace. Yes, I think that would go a long way. And also, any other bonuses you may find, Hmm. I feel inclined to speak on behalf of Mr. Merriweather that you might be able to keep them. Thank you, that's very generous. Why are you here? Why, I'm here to make sure that this car stays on the rails, as it were. Hmm. And to assist, of course. Really? Yes. A very tough, very capable former captain a veteran working as a butler for Mr. Merriweather, an eccentric American. It's very unusual, don't you think? Yes, well, I do anything and everything that Mr. Merriweather requires. Keep his house, check his financial records, books, look after his interests and affairs. He's a good man. A bit strange, but good. Well, it's like a script you keep reciting from. It's a good one. Wouldn't you agree that there are dark corners in this world? 
easier to find than the light. Everybody's got their dark corners. There's so much sexual tension. I know. <laughs> Buff Alfred. <laughs> No, no, Ooh. 40 now. I'm like, hey, it's 40. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> got like a hanky and it's like. <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you agree? Balladosis. <laughs> <laughs> Last time on Gentleman Jack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's been very good to me. I had a string of bad luck for a while. Well, I hope your fortunes turn. Captain. Thank you, Hana. Well, Ida, if you're looking for a heat source, mm. I think you ought to talk to these two. <laughs> so, we approach the guard position. From your, since you're only God using the oil lamp. Um, Just one. Yeah, he's not. He's not at the. He's not directly at the post. You don't see him at the post. He said he wouldn't leave his post. Yes. Would you like to get closer? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He said it in such yes. a friendly way. I'm sure. He, uh, Why would he? Does it be a lark? Yes. We'll go check his station. You walk up to the to the guard station at the front, and you take a look around, and you do see. Um, uh, Mr. Wayland, he's actually a, a little bit off. He appears to oh. be uh, staring. You can only see him from the back because he's staring uh, through the glass with his own uh, lantern up. Apparently, looking uh, just looking outside. Um, Mr. Wayland, I'm sorry to disturb you. I'm sure the racket must have. What? What are you doing? Uh, nothing to worry about. Just. Go about your business. Is there something outside we should be aware of? Uh, nothing to worry about. Why did the lights go out so suddenly? Nothing to worry about. Just go about your business. You, you mentioned that already. <laughs> um, is there anything we can do for you, sir? Roll a sanity check. Oh, God. <laughs> Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Do I have to roll below it? You have to roll below it. Okay. Which you did. I did. Oh, I'm one over. I'm one over. Uh oh. Use your luck. Use your luck. I'm going to push it down. Push it down. You got to push it two down. You got to push it two down. Push it two down. Push it two down. Okay. 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 Push, push it real good. Push it real good. I will say it. Repress that shit. Push it real good. Um. What would I call this? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give you any. Nothing to worry about. Just go about your business. Uh, I know! <laughs> <laughs> Me versus Badger want to do two different things. <laughs> Let's go about our business then, shall we? Yes. Let's. Um, <laughs> If you need anything, we'll be looking for a coach. He's not moving, and he's not turning around. He's still looking out outside. Lantern just raised. Seeing, just, just looking through the window. Can I slowly work my way to the right? Can I see his reflection in the glass? No. <gasps> I can't? He doesn't have one. No. <laughs> You can see your reflection in the glass, but you don't see his. What? I'm saying, what does that mean? I don't know, but my head got tingly. Uh, <laughs> make another sanity roll. No! Oh, you got it, you got it, you're Fail. so sane. Fail. Fail. You you're so sane. Fail. 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 He failed. He failed. Pretty significant oh. thing. Uh, I, do, do we start this now, or I can? It's been a while. I'm trying to remember. It's a fail. I, I think you, your sanity lowers is the first thing that happens, if I recall. Yes, I by, but not by the amount that you failed by, right? Um, or you roll. You roll for your sanity. Yeah, you have right? to roll, roll a one d. Uh, roll a d four. Mm -hmm. That's right. I remember this. Come here, d four. Help me. There are oh, d four. Do you mean it? Yeah. 
one. Oh, okay. You lose two sanity points. Okay. Now okay. it's going to be that much easier for your sanity to start going wrong. Right. And you've gained a compulsion. You are going to have to, you are going to need to check your reflection in every mirror you come across, because that's fucked up. I'd like to leave now. Oh, yes, oh, all right. We'll, we'll go about our business. Meanwhile. Just checking good old-fashioned labels. <laughs> you are in the Egypt. Egypt. Egyptian looking at the Greeks. And while we are checking these labels, uh, Dr. Potter, I have been quite consumed with a thought ever since you brought it up. I've been thinking about your whole black, red, and green yes. theory. Yes. And the. Would you like to read my pamphlet? Oh, you've read my pamphlet. I have read your pamphlet. Thanks. I was concerned when I first met you because I didn't want you to know that I believe you are more spot on than perhaps you even realize. Oh. I think it's for the best that the general public think that your writings are fiction. It keeps the peace. It's O'Neill. I mean, if there are truths that are hidden, we must know them. Only can we, the only way we can protect ourselves is to know what we are protecting ourselves from. I agree. And it is for people like us to discover that. And we can protect the general public at large. Back to your theory. Excellent. The ulterior motive that I am here for the monks of Lakir have asked me to find a relic. A green relic. A jade planchette. They themselves are already in possession of a black chalice and one of those red iris stones, as we have seen here already. So the, the jade, the green glass, that. Yes. Is the only thing missing. I honestly feel quite ignorant that I didn't even put it together myself, but I'm glad we are here with a librarian. And a doctor. <laughs> anyway. Perhaps it's in one of these cases. Yes. We check the cases. You check the cases. Check the cases. Do we have to roll? Roll an intelligence check. Just intelligence. Just intelligence, right? Straight intelligence. Check the cases. Check the cases. Success. Uh, success. None of these are what you are looking for. Hmm. However, oh, out of the corner of your eye, as you're checking the final case, you not your corner of your eye, this would have been out, just out of earshot behind the statue that you so recklessly broke. Oh, I forgot about it. Comes a sound. Did you hear that? I do. But there's no one else in here but us. Ida? Mr. Goodfellow? From behind the statue, it just barely in the light from what you're casting, you can almost make out two people standing in the corner, and they're not facing you. They're facing the wall. Uh -uh. And we'll be back. After no! I don't have. A, I don't uh, believe I have any uh, mid-game announcements, and if I do, I will give them after the break because I do not have a thing here. But we're going to take a moment and collect ourselves and clean our pants. Have a have a stiff drink of something, and we'll see you in just a moment. A lonely tavern set, strangely absent of streaming content. It's patrons waiting for a way to reach their critical role content. Travelers waiting to board the subscription train. Through a twisting series of tubes and satellite waves, we here at Critical Role deliver digital content 
the form of what society has come to know as shows. If you would like to view these shows on demand after the live premiere, you need to enter the Shadowland known as the Twitch Subscription Zone. It is simple to subscribe, but there are many paths one may take. This Gordian knot can easily be cut with a credit card. However, if one has an Amazon Prime account, you are guaranteed one free Twitch subscription a month to the channel of your choosing. But remember, freedom demands agency. For Twitch Prime subscriptions, do not auto-renew, and you must resubscribe each month. For those already in the subscription zone who want to spread their fortune, you can gift tickets to the subtrain by invoking the gift a sub button on Twitch. Yes, join us. There's plenty more room for critters in the Shadowland. We here at Critical Role want to say thank you to our esteemed subscribers and hope you enjoy as much of our content as you can consume, including our emojis by Arsqueef. And so ends another inexplicable journey, a twisted car ride shrouded in fog with your high beams on, a complicated parody promo, the Twitch subscription zone. Subscribe. You need to subscribe. Twitch Prime subscribe. Gift subscribe. Subscribe. The group is, is a little scattered at the moment. Touch well. So let's start with the two of you. Mother people standing in the corner! <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Where, what are you going to do? Uh, uh, oh, oh, yes, let's, let's go. I want to leave. Uh, um, 
let's join the others, shall yes. we? Yes. Then. Did you see him? Uh, who? <laughs> Mr. Wait, Wayland. Wait, Mr. Yes. Wayland? Yes. He was acting very strangely. Not him. He wasn't in the window. There was no reflection in the window. You saw. Uh, I'm not crazy. I looked, and there was no reflection. He was. He was not there. You're under a lot of stress. It's, I am. Uh, this isn't going very well at all. It's fine. It's fine, let's rejoin the others. It's fine, yes. Where are you headed? To the um, Egyptian, to the no, Egyptian. to the Roman room? Where did we last see them? Um, we were supposed to the I am they, not they were, here to tell you. They oh, were going to fuck a duck, where are we going? The, some some we of going? them were going to the Egyptian room. Let's go there. I believe. Let's head there. Heading to the Egyptian room. <laughs> we will never see each other again. <laughs> We were the you two are in the Roman room. <laughs> we just got the, the ruby thingy. We just got a ruby thingy. Squish ruby. Uh, okay. Where to? What are you doing? It's been a minute, hasn't it? It has. Um, you know, I am very aware that you are not a fan of the intangible, but I will tell you this truthfully. Look me in the eye. You can believe me. I am very good at reading the room, and the room is turning. You're not really good at reading the room, though, are you? <laughs> Look, you were worried about this chest. I opened it, it's fine. I am a little worried about us getting discovered sneaking about here, though, so maybe you should find the others and try to get on with it. Very well. Okay. You like the lead after you. Great. In the Egyptian room, did they say? Yes. All right, so off we go to the Egyptian room. Bill. Doctor? Yes. <clears throat> there are, they're hard to see, these two people with their back towards you. They are well dressed. They're at least wearing, one's wearing a suit, the other one is Probably wearing a suit. It's very dark. They're not. They're not hey, coming into the light. Like <laughs> <laughs> Miss O'Neill, uh, since our uh, mission is to not be discovered, might I suggest we leave before they turn around and leave discover us? They turn around and discover us. Is there an echo in here? Ah. I'm an archivist, not an adventurer. I don't think they're going to turn around, or they're particularly concerned about discovering. Turn disco around, are particularly concerned about disco discovering, discovering us. us. Um, I hear that echo too. They're casually walking back behind the statue. What do you mean, walk, walk back? They're moving. They are. They are stepping very quietly behind the statue into the shadows. They were always in the shadows, they're now just deeper in. They have never faced you. How long until the rest of us get there? You guys took some long conversations, you did not. <laughs> I'm afraid to leave, what if they, um? I'm afraid to stay, what if they, um? Yeah. Now we're echoing. Oh. Okay. You hear a tapping from outside the outside the room. Make a sanity check, both of you. Ah. I don't want it. Ooh, can I push luck? I can push luck on this, right? Can I believe push luck on sanity checks? I'm gonna push it by. F Wait. Uh -oh. You know what? I don't know actually. No. I don't have that in front of me. I already yeah, but that was before I mean, shit got so weird. So push yeah. and, and luck are slightly different. No so good. pushes you can no roll again, and if you fail a second time, it's worse, or you can spend luck. But I don't know if you can spend luck on sanity points. I don't think you can spend luck on sanity points. Okay. So if you want, you can try Fails. to roll again. You failed, roll a d4. I believe a good doctor. Two. I'd like Two. I, I couldn't push Take three points away from your sanity. Okay. Um, you are going to have a 
slight disadvantage with your dexterity because you keep thinking someone is breathing on your neck. <laughs> and you keep turning around because you are being followed and it's just going to make you a little twitchy. So there's maybe someone just always standing right behind you, but they keep vanishing before you turn around. Suddenly, the rest of everybody else shows up. You also oh. failed. You also failed. Roll a d4. Oh, shit. Did you see that? Curtain. <laughs> oh. You take three points away from your sanity. What am I going to do to you? <laughs> I had a nickel for every time I had that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much did you have? 75 cents. <laughs> I think you're feeling a little bit of blame for this system. I think you're starting to believe that maybe you were onto something. I think you were onto something with your little pamphlet. I think that you are going to start having a little bit of connective compulsion. So, when you start talking about your shadow creatures, not before, but anytime you start talking, you're going to keep talking about it until someone calms you down. It's just going to start flowing out of you like a bit of a ramble until you run out of words. Right. Is that happening now? Well, next time it comes up. I see. So, it's going to be interesting. You all enter the room, and it fills with light from four four lanterns. Why are you following me? Have you been here the whole time? We just got here. Yeah, we just came back. Well, now you need to leave. Is everyone okay? No, there are people here, but they're not real people. They're dark creatures, they're shadow people. They're shadow people who are very well dressed, but they do. Take a breath, take Take this right. It's okay. uh, Strange things were happening to us as well. What? What happened? Mr. Wayland, he, uh, he wouldn't look at us, and he I'm had. Repeating the same thing, nothing to say here. No Go about your business. reflection in the window. I know how that sounds. I know what I saw. No reflection. I saw. I saw us. I couldn't see him. But he didn't turn around. Did he? No. Neither did. They us. never turn around. The shadow people never turn around. They are always facing the other way because what they're you your mean? shadows. What your do shadows you can't see. Shadow Shh. people. I don't think it's a coincidence that there has been a theme of reflections. Because I broke the mirror. I broke it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I, I take the bag out and I, I start removing pieces of the, the mirror from it. Uh, uh, sh- sh- should we look more closely at it? Ida, bring out that uh, that mirror you have as well. This, what for? Yes. Oh, well. Can reflections we can words. reveal intentions. Can we, hold a can we see any of the words in the broken? It's shattered. It's it's safety glass. What oh, happens like if I take that mirror mm-hmm. and hold it towards the reflective shards? I can look at it. Nothing yet, but are you like are you waving that mirror around a little bit? I mean raving yes. Um and I'm kind of doing the Either make the jailhouse a, thing, making it making a cult or a or a uh, intelligence roll. Okay. Up to you. Intelligence. Uh, success. Just Good. for fun, Good. add a spot hidden. Oh, failure. Okay. While the th- mirror is swinging around. No wait. Oh no. That's. It's lower. Equal. No, 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 it's, it's not, I was okay. wrong. It's, yeah, While you're better. swinging the mirror around, something catches your eye. You don't know what, but there's a momentary glimpse in the, in the, in the black mirror when you're rolling it around. I turn around. Do I see anything where the reflection would be? I mean, you're looking in the mirror. Where are you looking? But I mean, I'm looking to see if there's something that would be... Sp- where are you looking in the spot? room with the mirror? Like, are you looking at yourself in the mirror? No, no, no. I'm kind of angling it and looking behind me. Behind you, there's n- turn and there's nothing where I mean, like, unless like what are, what's behind you? I don't know. Are the statues in front? Yes. I'm going 
going to um, look towards the statue that the glass uh, mirror broke, where they describe seeing people. In the reflection, you see two people with gaunt faces staring at you hungrily. What? Oh, God. Are you seeing A man seeing? and a an younger gentleman, and they are, it's almost as if they're held back and they're just teeth and eyes, just hungry, it's like nice. they haven't been fed in so long. Is there anyone physically standing behind you? Yeah, look with bare eyes for a moment and then back. It's too dark to tell. Is there a trick of the light, maybe? Is there an artifact or something in this room? Is it a painting or something? What, what, do you, what, do you do? what is happening? There are two individuals standing behind me right now. It's the shadow is? people. Can I hold up my lantern? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Carefully. The shadow vanishes and they scurry. They're just Fuck. gone. What's that? What was that? Do you see? Is, is, is there a, a, a portal or a door or anything behind the statue? Is there a wall behind the statue or is it an open space? You'd have to go back there to tell. The mirror is not very good. All right, very clearly, we need to get the lights on. And look, I, I don't. I'm sorry, the I never. The casket is not in this room. We need to leave this room. All right, get let's get out. Get out. I, don't, light I don't mind the idea of getting some light on, yes. except I'm going to need, I have to take a look at it. Uh, Captain Badger? Yes. Can I see that uh, gemstone, that red one? Yes, of course. I take the bag out, I remove the crystal. Cotswell and I found another one. Well, yes, we did. Uh, your key, it opened um, a chest in the Roman room. Oh, with um, three stones on it, actually, you mentioned before. Mm. Black, red, and green. Black, red, and green stones. You said those were indicators of... Coins. Yeah. And the monks that I work for, the monks of the Kia, they sent me in search of a jade planchette. They've spoken very highly in of invested in some deep protection towards a black chalice and one of these red iris stones. The theme continues. I, uh, it took me a moment, but I recall the monks having some sort of meditation process with this and that these can be activated in some way. Exercises, as you mean. I don't know. My understanding is limited. Do they produce heat? Yes, I exactly. Do I have? Or enough? some sort of energy? I, d I don't know. Uh, make a make a, uh, a a cult or a uh, uh, archaeology roll for that. Okay. Uh, Fifty. Oh. Hmm. Twelve. Out of you. fifty. 12 out of fifty. You have definitely read of these stones, of versions of these stones creating light, heat, cold. They're, they're, they've been mentioned as some sort of, uh, um, um, almost an elemental keystones mm. that can be uh, charged via um, ritual or meditation. And you said we found another. Yes, in, this, in the, um, we have the chest in the Roman room. Well, let's see it. Is it the same or different? It's uh, slightly different. There's different markings on it. I don't really know what they mean, not my expertise, but. Um, the ones that the monk have have a spiral on it. This is more of a, I don't this know. Is a, what about Septimus? Do you. Star of a kind. How do you feel about this stone? He doesn't we, like can it. Can we much. activate them to and get ourselves some light? What? Because the light Act will drive away the shadow people. If, if the shadow people are struck by the light, the Doctor. Talk it. Sorry. Doctor. Get a hold of yourself. Look, to get the lights back on, I either need to see if there's uh, if there's something I can do with the circuitry that's already in the uh, in the machine arcade, or I need to attach my device with some sort of heat source. So if you're telling me that these can be activated to produce heat, then that would help. But I don't understand how a stone could produce heat. Septimus, could I could I ask a favor? Could you please hold one of these stones and tell us what you feel? Would really rather not hold. Yes, Either of them. We all have luck. But I think things are clearly turning here. 
Yes, I'm sorry, is this something you know that you're not telling us? No, no, I mean, he, uh, he was talking about <clears throat> feeling the room and, and, and presence and the lights are going out and he didn't have a reflection and he won't shut up about the shadow people. I just want to put maybe the right items in the hands of someone that might be able to tell us something we there don't is know. most certainly an ill feeling in the air now. It is undeniable, and I am beginning to feel the worm has turned here, and we may better to have made our exit. We can't. Uh, well, what do you mean we can't? We, we need that casket. For what? For Mr. Merriweather. For it's what purpose? Important. I don't know. Is it so important that this? Mr. Goodfellow, yes. what do the people look like in the mirror? Um, lean, hungry, not the, entirely human, perhaps. The village of the hungry people. What? The That's monster. what the monks told me, the monster, the entity that they were fighting, that they were keeping at bay, the reason why they wanted the planchette. Maybe if we find the planchette, we can stop this. this can, may I see that mirror, please? Um, the, take a quick look at the statue. Are they there again? Um, how well lit is it right now? Come with me. I'll go with her. Yep. Two lanterns. <clears throat> I'm trying to bend it so that we can look at the statue and behind the statue. Is it in your two lighting, two your two lighting uh, beneath it? Yeah. There's nobody there. Look, I'm going to get the light on. If anyone would like to join me, they are welcome. Yes. Yeah. See if you can uh, uh, heat this up. I, I try to spot anything unusual about it. I poke it. I, you know, feel it. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. It would be, it would be a, um, it would be an occult role to figure out how to activate it. Because I have no, my role before, there's no, I, just, I know I have knowledge of it, but I don't know how to activate it. No. You could make an archaeology roll with, with difficulty, with disadvantage, and get lucky. Maybe you read something a while ago. Okay, archaeology or occult? Um, whatever's, whatever's better. Okay. I'll say archaeology with disadvantage, occult without. Okay. Uh, occult. Archaeology's better, right? Mm -hmm. Is your occult like 05? Or is it? Uh, no, they're both the same. Oh, okay. Money. Forty-one. Mm, Forty-one. Occult. And, and what's your what's your cult level? Fifty. Mm -hmm. You know that it requires that there. It requires. Um, it's a med it's a meditative process. So it's it's uh, it's anybody who's trained in any sort of um, occult meditative uh, practice, uh, astral projection, uh, tulpa creation. Anything like that would be uh, anybody who is who has got some basic understanding of how to manifest magical energies would be able to activate one of these stones. Mm -hmm. To what effect? We don't know. Hmm. Could you tell us what this planchette is? What it looks like? It's made and crafted of jade, and almost has a compass-like structure to it, but. Uh, has a hollow orifice in the middle. The green. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, well done, actually. You. Considering that you, I don't think you've seen it. No. Uh, well done. Just what they told me. It's Coswell. The, the green the, uh, piece that you saw. It was a, on a was chest. It had a, a black, a red, and a green piece on it. Did it look like it could be a, made of jade? It was, it was, yeah, they, they were traditional stones. It was more of a, it was like a nice stone inlay. It, it wasn't. looked jade, sure, yeah. Well, should we all move together and take a look? Do we really want to keep moving in darkness? No. I say light first. You're right. right. Oh, who can, who wants to take a moment? I mean, you're... Mr. Goodfellow, you're, you don't know any sort of I meditation am, that could activate the stones? It's more like a tuning fork. Oh, that sounds like exactly what we need, though. Why don't you give it a crack? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, I can think Don't of ask a few that, please. Things. I well, need a heat source to get the light back on. I cannot promise, but I will try. Is there anything we can do to aid you in this? Watch my back. 
Mm-hmm. Easily right. done. Done. Are you doing this here, or are you doing this at the generator, at the generator of Conduit Point? That seems like a leading suggestion to maybe do it. Yes. Yes. Let's have a little yeah. mosey, maybe, first. <laughs> Get the right, whole because fuck if we out. activate we, that, it will. We don't know how long it'll last. <clears throat> maybe. I was just right, curious. Let's, go there. <laughs> let's move quietly. Whether it's uh, spirits or the guards, I don't want to be caught. And I would keep that glass handy. Let's so head to the arcade. To the arcade. <clears throat> From the Egyptian room. Do we have four That's person a street rough. fighter. Uh, well, so I assume we're going to move with stealth. I do. Yes. And with our lanterns. Uh, yes. And with your lanterns. Assumption for till the end of both our lives. Um, so first off, I will have everybody make a stealth roll. So and good. Yep. Failure. Failure. Three. Do we have four failures? Oh, stealth. It's oh shit! So, Wait, well, so nice playing with you guys. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Cool. As you slowly and quietly make your way to the machine gallery. You huddle together, get together closely with the mirror and the lanterns, trying your best to imagine move is a bit of a armadillo uh-huh. <laughs> through through the area. Would you say a human centipede? Oh, no. <laughs> yes. I may re-roll. See. If no, 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 no. <laughs> invented by the ancient Egyptians. <laughs> You're being careful, you're keeping your eyes peeled. The one thing that you're possibly not paying attention to, though, are the shadows cast by the moon on this beautiful steel structure of glass. And as you are gingerly making your way there, Hannah, your foot falls into one of these shadows. You just step, you just step into it, not a big deal. You just, you're just uh, stepping in. <laughs> Suddenly, two hands grab you from the shadows and attempt to pull you deeper in. About to get pulled into the shadow, what are you going to do? Um, uh. Jujitsu, jujitsu. <laughs> yeah, I kick out. I, I strike out with my leg. Run into the papers! <laughs> I, I strike out with my leg and, and move the lantern. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at my combat thing. Okay, that's a. Uh, where's my combat? Here we go. Um, surprise attack. Um, so, what's your dexterity? Um, 80. 80. Yes. Oh, that's good. Um, so, um, so uh, attempt to use, uh, uh, attempt to, uh, um, uh, we're going to do a maneuver. Uh, what are you attempting to do then? You're going to uh, fight back? Yeah, I, I kick out and shine the lantern. Um, so roll a, roll a percentile die. I'm going to welcome our dark horse. Oh, Josh right. is going to fight over. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Come on. What'd you get? How much did you 86. Oh. Spend luck. I can spend luck. Or you can push. But oh, push. push. But pushing, pushing would be pretty risky at this moment, I think, because if you fail yeah. again, he can Dramatic. do something gnarly to you. All oh, right. Oh. But I mean, it's up to you. I'm going to push. The push or look? Well, You're going to push or use luck? You, you are grabbing and getting, and getting sucked in right now. Does anybody. Okay. Yeah, 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 reach out! Yeah. I'll grab her. You're going to grab her? Yeah. Um, make a strength, uh, make a, uh, a, a strength check. Uh, succeed, 39, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, hard that's, success. Yeah. You have you have a hold of her, she is starting to get pulled and you are pulling against her, but there are 
two people with their backs towards you who have contorted enough that their hands have grabbed her <laughs> and are trying, not even looking at her, to just claw her in right now. I'm going to let her go. You've got a hold of her, but you haven't pulled her out of the shadow. What do you do? Uh, uh, Anybody? Mirror, the lights, the mirror. Uh, I, I, put my yes. mm -hmm. I put my lantern toward it. You put the lanterns towards them? Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm just watching in the mirror. <laughs> they are forward in the mirror. You oh! See they are going, they are attempting to, to bite and claw and grab right now at her. You guys put the lanterns forward? Yes. yes. They are just, they run at a speed you cannot even contemplate, my god. We need you, light. We need light. You are bleeding from the back. You have five health points that just, uh, that just uh, took, took a, took a stack of you. What are you at, by oh, the way? Oh shit! Four. Okay. Septimus is just spinning around trying to see. They if they they, there were claws in you. Uh, Fuck it, run, uh, run, run, run. That's what I was saying. There's no running. sense in being stealthy. All right. You make it to the uh, yeah. That was that was their one roll. You're you're there. What are you gonna do? I go immediately to where I, I flip the breaker and I try to see if there's an easy way to get it on without using this device. <laughs> okay, I need heat now. Septimus, please. please. Set, set, set it on the ground. Set it on the ground. If anyone else has any ideas, lanterns around be welcome. Ground. Yes, make a make a circle. We'll make a circle of our lanterns around the the red stone. I'm just going to. Are are the lanterns? How are you using the lanterns? Just trying to. Oh wait, is he hold? Are you holding the stone? You, you lanterns you cast shadows. Is there a way to hold the lanterns that we don't cast shadows? Well, if we on him surround us in light. Yes, if we go back to back or or all together. Oh jeez. And, and make a cone. Of and make a cone. Clever. All right, I'll allow it. Okay, so we do a lantern pyramid. I'm going to place the mirror just above, so I can see in it. Very clever. And I am going to focus on the energy surrounding this stone and reach out what to are those you, around me. What are you going to do to the stone? What? I don't know what the fuck that does. Um, Did your accent just change? I'm sorry, I don't know what the fuck that does. What the fuck is happening? He's a charlatan. <laughs> oh fuck, we're so fucked! We just need to get the I fuck knew out of it, here. I knew it! Hold on. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah, very clever. <laughs> we need to get the fuck out of here now. I don't know what that does, I don't know what that does, I don't know what those things were. We need to get the fuck out of here. I had my suspicions, you fraud. Who the fuck cares what happened before? We need to go no. now. Wait, 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 you, are you saying you can't You can't activate this stone? No, no he's I'm a fucking fraud. A fucking stone? You have to touch it to activate. I'm an actor. I push <laughs> yep. Septimus out of the way, and I say, take a lantern, Move. you piece of shit. And I sit down and I put Push. the kind of prop up the the Mirror. glass and then I touch them. And which, just which stone are you attempting to? Fucking both of them. You can only do one at a time. Ow. You know that. The, the, I don't know what seems more heat like. The star. Yeah, I'll do the one with the star. All right. Pentagram. <laughs> That's that one. Yeah, sure. Just fucking yeah, throw them around. That's the good. Other one. Try Zeus. Try anything. <laughs> I, I always go with star over tentacles. <laughs> then take what limited knowledge I have learned from the monks, mm -hmm. to study into it, and meditate. Uh, what's uh, what's your pow score? My pow? Pow. 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 pow, pow. Seventy. Cool. Uh, just make a make a roll. You know what you're doing. Make a roll with advantage. With advantage. This time, you know what you're doing. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's half of 70, 35? Mm -hmm. Fuck, 37. Oh, that's good enough. Okay. For now. Almost, yeah. Um, the, you meditate on it. Um, it suddenly gets very, very hot. Too hot to hold, to be honest. Uh. Uh, oh. Thankfully, yeah, um, it's 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 going, but it's too hot to hold. I, do I have it powered up enough? Do I feel? I'm gonna just start attaching things. Um, I would recommend putting it in in, in something. To, to I would recommend putting it in something so that you can manage it. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I love you so much. Oh wow, I was gonna have to do that. <gasps> Tis one. Yeah. That's why it's squishy! Yeah. <laughs> So put it in the pouch. Too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. Too, too cold to hold. Oh! <laughs> I would recommend putting it in the we pouch. We should call them ghost something. Pets. And now I would so recommend brilliant. putting the engine on top of it. Oh, you fucking brilliant bastard. It's oh gonna fucking go, isn't it? Oh my it? god. So you're gonna have to give it a second while it powers no up. No way! I would, I would, no way! I would, I would get it, get it nice and There's nice and. No way. And I would also recommend turning it so that the audience can see. Oh, right, turn it so that the uh, wheels. There you go. Yeah. And mm-hmm. give it a second, and and you you probably need to. It'll probably need a jump start in a minute. Just give a little, the wheel a little roll. Come on, you fucking bastard! Let's we'll <gasps> see if it can. Oh, come on! It'll take a minute, but yeah. While this is happening, oh. It, oh. the lights are starting to flicker on, so it's going to work. <laughs> get that fucking. Yeah, you want to get it nice and firm there. You want to get the whole surface. Oh on the my bottom. god! You bastard! Come on! It will. New accent now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, keep yeah, doing it's it. Going. It's going. It's going. It's going. You might need That's one it. more little bit no, of love. I think we have it. If I push down real hard, yeah. it goes. Oh. It's, going. it's going. Well done. All right. Thank God somebody knows what they're up to. By the way, is she bleeding <sighs> out or are they scratches? They're, they're oddly acidic. You're not a useful doctor, are you? Oddly acidic. Yeah, it's I'm more a of a doctor, it's more not of an acid a, not a blood burn doctor. really than anything else. Are the lights on? Are the lights on? No. Oh, the lights are on. The lights on at least. That's really okay. good because the shadow people they don't like the light. They can't stand doctor, the light because. Shut it. No, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. All right, right. What the fuck are we going to do? Yeah. Here? What's the know. plan here? How long that is going to last? So, I recommend we move quickly. We're yeah. just going to get out of here, right? We've yeah. Got to get, we get, I'm just saying. I don't care about I'm sorry, Captain. What, what rooms have we not been in? The Byzantine court, but we we can't stay here. How surely. About the fucking exit. You gotta know when to cut and run. You don't. Look, I've got debts across Europe, but all right. It's not worth Lovely dying over. Us. You don't want to do this. Will you just fucking tell us already? You don't cross, Mr. Merriweather. We need to deliver this Why? item to him. Captain, are you frightened of him? He can't do anything worse to us than what. Look, did you see what happened to her? So there were people. <laughs> God, I'm brilliant. Coming from. <laughs> The shadow people with their claws. What if, it's in which, the, what if it's in the other room? We can make our escape. We get out of this. We would never speak of it again. Would you like to do it by yourself? I might have to. I'm leaving. I'm coming with you. Which exit are you heading for? Is there more than one? There's the guard post. There's technically the front entrance to the building. There's you could, in theory, go to the. Although the lights are off out the there, the lights are off everywhere else. There is just the place that you entered into. If we get the casket, we, can we stop this? Yes. Are you kidding me? There aren't, there aren't lights anywhere else, and I don't know if I can turn it, turn them on there. We we'll just fucking make a run for it. We tried that last time. I don't think there's any getting out of here. Could you try to enjoy this a little less? <laughs> Perfect grid. <That's> <laughs> are there any other rooms we haven't gone in? Besides Byzantine? There are? Besides Byzantine? Let me get the map. Oh. Hang on, it's Nineveh room. rather large. What is it? The Nineveh room. Yeah, bring it back. I just need to unfold it. I should also mention there is an entire bazaar. There are a bunch of, of rooms behind the Egyptian exhibit. There's a lot you haven't seen. What's that? The Alhambra courts? Uh, We're all the way back. The Alhambra courts? The Alhambra courts are, are behind the Egyptian exhibit like as well. Here, right? Yep. Doctor, do you have any. Do you remember seeing anything about the planchette in your papers? When this stops, does, do the lights stop? Only one way to find yeah, out. Yeah, let's not wait. Could, could you hand me the mirror? We can use this to navigate around these corners. We'll be fine for now, right? The lights are on, so if we move quickly. But the last time, the lights didn't last. And we don't know how long the power is going to last in that, so we might as well move while we can. Look, I know this doesn't seem well advised, but do we should we split up? No. No, please. <laughs> we, have covered, we have covered such little ground. I... Actually, agree. Well, we no, we can't go randomly. We don't have time. There are people time. out to get us. Oh, why don't we start with the medieval court and the Byzantine court? They're right next to each other. We can just pop in the rooms, and we'll be within earshot if anything goes wrong. Can I, can I make it? You've done, you've done, you've done the, you've done the medieval court technically. Fuck, we've done the 
medieval court. Uh, Byzantine, Byzantine you have not done yet, though. We yeah. haven't done Byzantine, and what else? Byzantine, the bazaar, the cat show, or anything oh, behind the Egyptian exhibit. Can I, can I do an intelligence show. roll to try to remember if, if yeah. in my um, hand chat in the papers. paperwork um, if there was anything, any clues in the paperwork that tie to the things on the map that would give us a clue about where? Um, there isn't. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to give you. I'll give you. A, um, I'll give you a, a intelli- intelligence of difficulty. Okay. So we have two chances at this. Come on, clearly. doctor. Fuck. No. Quite it would have been. It would have been. Going. It would have been quite a leap of logic to figure out where things oh, were going. We need to just stop moving because I'm pretty sure since we only have yes, two of these, yes. that's right. as much time as we uh, have. I'll walk out to the middle area and just poke the the mirror around and sort of look around. <laughs> Fine. Let's run. Can I look in the mirror? Yes, you should. You're there. Uh, the mirror. Something about the way that the mirror reflects makes you look weirdly gaunt. Ooh. Can I stop looking at the mirror? Yep. Now you can. Okay, Byzantine You'll probably court. want to check again in a minute. Byzantine Let's court? run to the Byzantine court. <laughs> to the How Byzantine court. Oh, that's yeah, that's the closer one. Mm-hmm. That's one of the ones right next to. Thun, 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 thun. It's like the end of Clue. <laughs> um, you arrive at the Byzantine court. I rip off a bottom piece of my dress, just the bottom lining, <laughs> and I kind of patch her up. Very quickly patch her up. Do you want to try and make a medicine check to see if you can heal her a little bit? Sure. Are they doing that? Can I look around for anything? You can. I will actually give a description of the Byzantine court since we're going in here. Currently the uh, exhibit is uh, uh, also waiting to be set up for the show because it's a um, um, just a giant well. mess. Sorry. Um, it is more and more crates. The uh, Traditionally there's a wonderful huge uh, 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 Tent that is set up made of silk and uh, and velvet and it's wonderful, but the whole thing is kind of leaning to the side in a giant mess right now because somebody knocked it down when they were moving all these crates into here for the for the new exhibit. There are a couple interesting uh, arcade machines around the side, and the traditional sense there's uh, some hand crank novelty machines, including uh, roll a percep- Let's do some perception. Let's uh. Um, do an, in, do an intelligence roll. I shouldn't have done this on my character sheet. <laughs> uh, you can scoot it forward and it should be fine. Big success. Uh, it, it'll, it'll keep running, it's going to be fine for a little while. I failed the first aid check. Okay, mm. no better. Extreme success. I, uh, extreme success going to be as well. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm there not There might be doctor. someone in the room. There might be someone in the room. You think you see a person in the back. Hey, Badger. Yeah? You want to hold that mirror up and take a look around in here? <laughs> <laughs> there appears to be a man at a desk, and he is not moving. There's the man at the desk, he's not moving. Is there anything interesting in here that we should give a shit about, or should we just leave? Is the man at the, desk, is the, man at the desk facing us or facing away? Uh, he's, the desk is actually, you're, you have him in profile, he's just sitting at a desk, and he is not moving, he is just sitting at a desk. All right. Can you're you not watch close him enough, and else? You're not close enough to really see. You, I you will take get a closer. lantern and I will. It's, oh, no, light. it's light, it's lit. Oh. You're lit. The lights are on, see? Is not a shadow person? I mean, he's not in a shadow, but. He's he's hard to see because he's a little far away because he's behind some crates. But. You, you there! Don't talk to him. Go through these crates. Oh, no. See if there's anything in there. He is not. He's not moved. He's not responded. All right. Well, they so do that. I'm going to check the labels. Let's, All right. Yeah. Do the, do I will roll. stay on this fucker. Oh, fuck me. What was I? Uh, it's a standard intelligence check. Um, I need I need to push more luck. Okay. Uh, I, I'll, I'll 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 say that. Yeah. You you kind of lost. Count, you're gonna have to start again. Uh, you, you, you're really distracted. You're also some of the crates you can't get to because they're um, without getting closer to the guy. I, I'll, I'll get closer to the guy. Uh, I've got the lights on. Down. Close enough to. It's still rolling. Yes, gonna, I'll go with you. I'll, I'll, I'll take the. the but sword it is slowing down. down. You're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start tearing through the cabinets looking for that planchette while they do that. Okay. Go do what you need to, Doctor. Uh, I have him. Yeah. Just give me a. Give me a. You can do a uh, spot hidden. Um, it's not a man. It's an automaton. He's only half a person sitting at a desk with a writing with a writing pen. Oh my god, that's even worse. Uh, <laughs> there is a. Uh, uh, it, it says uh, the future scribe, the atomic man, the automatic man who sees the future on loan from the estate of Sir Joseph Paxton. Uh, there is a slot for a coin. Oh no, no, I got the fucking coin! But that was a placeholder, that wasn't it? You do actually, you all have pocket change. So we have pocket change. If you wanted to attempt to, to roll it. Put it in, why not? Miss O'Neill, yes. you might need to go back to the. Is there anything written on the desk? Uh, he has pen and paper. 
But and he pulls the paper to write, obviously. Oh, but nothing's written yet. But nothing's written yet. One more pitch to run for the fucking front door. Just uh, hang on. The lights are on. on. Spot hidden. There's no jade. Any uh, more of the Casket. or the red iris stones? Nothing you see in here. Is he writing? Is the automaton writing something on the desk? Any sort I of? Put a in a coin. I put in a coin. Sake. Machines are so creepy. Bing. <laughs> you ever seen anything like this? No. Biff Tannen is there president. Like any of this. <laughs> there you go. It's a real name, anyway. Archie. Most of Mary Weather. We've got to get back. Back to the future. <laughs> <two years ago. laughs> the ground directly beneath the lamp is always darkest. Round, oh, right. 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 Okay. Hold it sideways. There's also always more coins, I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 I'll stick about fucking it. Uh, roll a percentile dice? Yeah, yeah. probably. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Well, this is the first one? <laughs> yeah. 50. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ding! Come on, sack of shit. Grant me my wish, make me big. <laughs> <laughs> Truth depends on the color of the crystal through which one sees it. Fuck! They're all red! Riddles, riddles. Truth depends on the color of the All right, I'll try my luck. It's still rolling. It's true. Green, red, black. Dings! Roll a percentile. Green, red, black. Lights are fucking flickering. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. 30. Oh. It stopped! Light lantern's up! Oh! Uh. The lights go out again with a slow fade. Mirrors are liars. They show us only what we expect to see. I call bullshit on that one based on our experiences. Is that an optimal way to hold these so that we aren't in the shadow ever? You can attempt it and uh, we'll see what happens, but you're holding on pretty well at the moment. Um, hey, engineer, you got one of those crystals on you? Well, it doesn't matter because that's back at the. Uh, we have to go back. back. All of them are back there. No, the the machine is back there. Can you, yeah, can you use this to act as like a channel for some of the lantern light? You're like flipping a, that around like that. Um, are you going to try that? Yeah, like as a like you know like you hit the sun and you can make it dance and shit. Can, can you try. hold it and like does it make a spot move on the ground? It's hard to tell. Okay. There's not a lot of light out of these things. Does anybody have one of the crystals on them? Can I look in the mirror again? But we have to go back to the arcade to use it. Just Do you have a sense of whether or not these, are these all single use items? These crystals? Maybe we can right. meditate again. Um, they require, you, you would remember they require days to recharge. They usually need a, soul, a, a, a Okay, lunar so we month. have about that length of time, one more crystal, and we need to search how many rooms? Three. Or we need to get to an exit. Or we need to get to an exit. If one of you feels so oh. encouraged as to venture what? outside, please what was be your my guest. What was your percentile, by the way, when you rolled when uh, you got your 30. fortune? Thirty. Uh, Thirty. Okay, it's fine. Here's what I think we need to do. I think we need to go back to the machine arcade. I think we need to turn the lights back on, and then I think we need to split, split up. up. <laughs> yes. All right. Move now. Who's going where? How many teams? Lights on first. Yes. Captain, yes. are you saying that if we don't find the casket, it won't even be safe to leave? If I hadn't seen that man's reflection disappear in the window, I would have said that outside seems like a viable option. In the real world, I wouldn't disappoint Mr. Merriweather, but given what I saw, I wouldn't go out there. Oh. Come back with a warrant! <laughs> no, I'm knocking. That's that's the sound that happened before the shadow people in the. the Doctor, the, the, calm the, the, down. Thank you. Give me that stone. Give it to me. Let's move. As you leave the room, oh. that's not helping at all. No. <laughs> You're, I've been waiting to see to say this my entire life. You're just an asshole with a ruby on his eye. Uh, bless you and keep you. Um, um, make a make a spot hidden check. Anybody anybody who's got a decent spot hidden check as you're leaving the room. I only got forty five. Who's got better? What's decent in color? Forty five. Wait, what are we rolling? Super fucking bad. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, spot 50? hidden. How'd you do? Uh, 79. Terrible. Didn't do it. Hmm. Uh, 005. Oh. You really see stuff. Yeah. So, you see as, space and time. as we're leaving, um, as you're leaving the room, the the crystal divider, the glass divider that 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 leads out of this room, uh, the light catches on the glass mm -hmm. in just an interesting way that you see something in the reflection. As you're staring into the reflection cast by the light, you you see things that I have on lists that are not there. There we go. Um, you see. The lantern that is being held, but it's not being held by the person. It's not being held uh, uh, by Hannah. It's being it's being held by Joseph Whalen. It's being held by the security officer, and he's staring at you through the glass, and he's tapping on the glass. From the outside. From the other. It it's like a divider. It's a divider from one room to the other. I'm made of glass, and so I see him in a glass world, through a glass, darkly. Ooh, nice. And he has been tapping on the glass, and he's nodding no. He looks concerned. He doesn't look well at all. Does he look gaunt? No. Okay. Just translucent. Uh, make a sanity roll. Ten and two. Ooh, ten and two. Steady, steady, it's steady, lad. Insane. Keep moving. I, I tell them what I saw. If you look back, anybody who looks back sees him reflected the glass in the light, holding up a lantern, holding up your lantern, almost as your reflection. That's exactly what he was doing. Oh, just, doing just her. Mm -hmm. for him. Everybody else shows up? Everybody else is there. What? Why? What do you mean that's what he was doing? He was staring into the window, holding up the lantern. He didn't turn around and look at us. He's tapping on the window a bit more. Let's get out and of he's here. He's pointing. Pointing Let's get out of here. He's pointing you towards the, the machine arcade. He looks concerned. Wait, he's, he's like nodding, like, go that way, or like, fuck that? He's saying, He's you can interpret this. it as you like. Where's the fucking machine arcade? You know so where it is. The where it's we're down. Just oh, yeah. around the corner. The it's not a, it's not a long way. walk, so the stealth roll is not going to be as difficult as it could be. Oh my god, let's go. Yes, let's go. Let's go back. All right, so we head back to machine arcade. Mm -hmm. Yes, I roll, go. Make a stealth roll really quickly, all of you. God, fucking damn it. The shadow people will be yes. waiting for us no. there. They okay. So yeah, nineteen. No, yes. no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That'll do it. <gasps> Make it back. Um. Miss Hunio, second one, please. Time will be of the essence. Hana. Crystal, me. Somebody. Sorry. Archie. This is awkward. <laughs> there you go. Christ. Uh, <laughs> Who are is, there, you? is there anything you can do? Fight, run, be prey. Did you bring anything to drink? I need concentration yes. or something like that. Uh, to start. We'll discuss this later. We should discuss <laughs> what. Who, who's going where? I'm gonna. Uh, no, we should. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, what, are the, what are the three remaining focus. areas? The, the cat show. Um, and while we do that, can we place the lamps pal? on the ground? Pal. Won't that make? I think we should do the exact same thing that we did last time. Okay. <laughs> Just do the exact same thing. Yeah. Exactly seventy. All right. Okay. This is not exactly difficult. Exactly my level. Yeah. And you've got luck. Yeah. Burn a luck and you'll I will be fine. spend one luck. This is not a this is not a hard hard thing to roll. Two. Okay. So um, two of us can go in each room. Yeah. I call not Archie, and I, I'll go to. Um, nobody <laughs> nobody knows the, the value of a good red shirt anymore. You? <laughs> uh, you can stick with me. So what's left? Nineveh core. Um, sure, big man. Nineveh and uh, the bazaar, 
and the uh, and behind the Egyptians, but yeah. And behind the Egyptians? I mean, there's just a bunch of rooms back there. It's not. It's not really a. It's not That's really where we saw the spooky people, right? Uh, was actually like against the wall, yes. But that was they were in the Egyptian court, not the. Not the, not the rooms behind. Kind of stuff behind it. You don't happen to be a fan of cats, are you? Yeah, but you know what's weird? We've seen no cats this whole time. They're in cages. Never had a cat in my life. It's funny though. Miss Anil. Off the judges. Do you want to do the honor, or did you activate it? Oh, oh, oh! Yes. I was gonna, you can activate it over there if you want to really milk every moment yes, of this. I do. Did you say paid off the judges? Why do you think I made that bet? <laughs> <laughs> Just laying it out there. Who is the um? Who is the Golden Dawn to you? Who's the Golden Dawn? To me. Yeah. Why well, I know them. Bunch of fucking Quite a lot of them. Go, 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 go. There you go. Okay. Fucking wish. Miss O'Neill, would you like to join me in the court behind the Egyptian court? As soon as this gets going. How do you know who the Golden Drift is? And the Golden Dawn? The Golden Dawn. Dawn. We'll give it a little moment while she gets it rolling. The power begins to slowly turn back on. They're very trendy, very popular in the zones. A lot of very prominent members. Sure. Occultists. Showmen. Yes. Showmen. Yes. Let's be fair. Mm, good ones at that. A little more. A little Why? More. Is Mr. Mayor ever one of them? No. Oh. He has a small dossier on people of interest and our resident on. fakery over here. Let's Not go. in very good favor with the Golden Dawn. Yes, light. Let's hurry. It's rolling. It'll it'll take a minute to get going, but I'm going to give you this <laughs> while you get it going anyway. Okay, great. I'm just very good at what I do. You I'll and me to the Egyptian the court behind the Egyptian courts. Do you, you two to uh, Native Inn, I guess. Captain. And you two? We're going to the uh-huh. court behind. Someone needs yeah. to go to the cat show. The other person needs to go to Niven. Cat show. Cat show's sure. in Niven. Fucking love cats. Let's go. You two. Right. Yeah. Niven. Wait. wait, they're in the same place? There's or wait, the Niv- Niven's the, the cat show. Where's oh. the bazaar? Um, the bazaar is at all those tables in there that you haven't really haven't taken a look at. It was all those little like little booths. Is that a room that we're counting that we haven't been to? Mm-hmm. And then oh, behind, and then oh, behind the uh, behind the the the, uh, the hall of justice, so to speak. Okay, uh-huh. we're heading to the hall of justice in, in Alhambra, and we'll go to Nineveh Court. And then that leaves you two to the bazaar. Uh, we're going to the cat show. No, the no, cat no. show is no, in Nineveh. No. Then we'll go to the bazaar. If it, it helps, bizarre. take it out of the bag. If, 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 if it's if it's take being it really bag, if yes. it's really being really difficult, you can take it out of the bag. Take it out of the oh, bag. Is it going? There it take is. Take it out of the bag. You get more heat. That's it. Take it out of the bag. I know I feel We're good. going. Okay. Got to unbag it. Catch up. Break. You're good. You're rolling. It's rolling. It seems slower than the last one. Oh God, let's hurry. Okay. Right. Um, let's go. Let's go. So, let's go. so wait, we're going to the bazaar. Yes. Okay. All right. We, we go to the court, behind the Egyptian court. Mm-hmm. Can I get the number, can I like jot down the number of the crate from Doctor? Um, from Doctor Pockets? Mm-hmm. From his paper? If you have a second, you can take a second to write them down. Um, Just quickly copy the mm-hmm. So the it's, code. yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, you're looking for one particular code that you're looking for, so you got it, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. What's the roll that we should do to uh, um, do look an for in, in, do an intelligence roll? Intelligence roll. God damn it! I failed. Success. Um, none of these crates are the ones you're looking for. Fuck. Okay, out to the court. Okay. I'm gonna Bizarre. quickly so look around. What you're looking for? Do I see um, once again any planchette? Any artifacts? In, in behind the behind the in the Hall of Justice? Yeah. Or no. No. Okay. Nothing. It's just crates. There's not even objects back here. It's just a big pile of crates. The bastard's probably hidden in one of these, but we don't have time. Let's go. Okay. And then the other place is the bazaar. This bazaar and the cat show. We're in the cat show. We're in the bazaar. Let's right, let's head to the, to the bazaar, bazaar and we'll yeah, meet we in look the middle. The cat show? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yes. Right. Do we roll a lucky thing? Um, you enter the cat show. Cat um, it's interesting. There are hundreds of cages with cats. Oh, great! Like almost two perfect lined walls of cats in cages, waiting to be judged with with tags with their names and owners. They haven't quite been set up, but they are 
Um, and they're not all there yet, but there's quite a few of them. Um, they're all quiet, and they're all staring at you. Yes, that's unsettling. Um, who's in there? It's, um, it's two of us. There is definitely, there's a, you notice at the very, very back of the exhibit, there are some antiquities back there. At the back. Let's go, hurry. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Live Let's forward. find this fucking thing so we can get out of here. It is not, it is not hard to see, it was in the but there is, in fact, a casket. Why didn't we on hear the pedestal, fucking cat room shows? In the far corner. It's the last place you'll oh, on, yes. on, on a pedestal, on a table? Um, it is not on a pedestal, on a table, it is in a glass case. Yeah. That is locked. Cool. At this point. Any objections? I'll have a go at the lock. The lock! <laughs> I just take my cane and I'm <laughs> just smash that fucking thing. You smash the glass? Yeah. Uh, roll to smash the glass. That was light. Strength? Uh, yes, that will be a strength strength roll. That would have been survival of the cult. <laughs> yeah. The glass shatters. Uh, and as the glass shatters, there's an accompanying sound of an unearthly shriek. <laughs> the casket bursts open, and the body of a mummified cat dissolves instantly. The dust pours out and makes its way behind you down the row of cats that all breathe it in and start going insane. The cats are clawing at their cages trying to get out. This sound is deafening. Roll a sanity check. Yep. Yeah. Be a great stuttering prick, you. Uh, 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 ten. Yes. What did you do? What do I roll? Four. Yeah. You guys are fine. No, 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 64. Oh, 64? Oh. So I have to go lower than what name? Oh, your sanity, your sanity which is a 40. Is 40. So I have to beat the sanity number? And you did you not. You do, and you did not. No. Uh, roll a d4. All right, here we go. Four. Oh. You run. You take five points of sanity, and your immediate con compulsion is to get the fuck out of there. The fuck are now, you going? Now. <laughs> now it is. Uh, so yeah. the, the casket's open. Mm -hmm. Can I it? shut the lid? You can. It, uh, can I grab that damn thing? You can. And I'll start trying to carry it and let my happy ass back through the hall of insane looking kitties. <laughs> they are beating at their cages like no, they are, they are mad. They are, these cats, something has gotten into them and they are feral, vicious beasts. They are pounding themselves against the cages in an attempt to get out, just ripping at them like wild animals, biting at the metal to try and claw their Tell way out. Tell them I found it! Tell them I found it! <laughs> Archie's going for the front door. A couple of them are starting to actually tear their way through the cages. Oh no. They do not look okay. Oh. Uh, meanwhile, Okay. Meanwhile? We are heading back that mm -hmm. direction. Because there's a meanwhile, I'll let Did you get a little more heat out of that before oh, it goes. Wow. I know. Well, no, it's still going. It's still going. Let's Did we hear the goes. screeching? Not yet. It hasn't happened yet. You're in the ar you're in the you're in the arcade still. Okay. Well, these guys haven't gone yet. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Super cool. So we go to bizarre. we go to the bazaar. Do we see any crates? There are no crates. The bazaar is just a series of beautiful booths, like a like a dealer's room, of antiquities and strangeness. There's everything from uh, uh, from taxidermy, carpets, uh, bones, skulls, Egyptian artifacts. Uh, uh, Do we see any jade? There is, in fact, a booth that sells a lot of jade, uh, jade uh, 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 cups, jade statues, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um. Can dig through if you like. Yeah, I want to look through the, yes. the green glass, uh, the things at that booth to see if there's anything that I recognize from my readings and my research. I'll, Give me I'll look at, see if there's anything that matches her description. Um, do a spot hidden, do an occult, or or a or an ant and, uh, 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 antiquities. How does um, how does uh, pushing work? Um, if you push this, if you fail again, it's going to be bad. But yeah, you, you spend luck, and if you push it again, hard, it's good. Hard success. Hard success. All right. There is a there is an object. 
very odd object there. Oh. 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 That's it. That's what Alexander and was meant to look through about. it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. What do you yes. see? Yes. What happens? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Uh, it's a planchette. You have to use it. Anyway, um, you have to know how to use a planchette. So, moving on to, you've got your success. You do hear, and you hear the insanity happening at the other end. Oh my god, it's the cats. So we head that way. You're going to head towards the cats? All right. I've always found cats to be very uncanny. Since you two (laughs) just did your thing, you do also hear the screech. Shall we head that way? Because are they in Nineveh? I think we shall. Mm -hmm. Everybody everybody is in Nineveh, if that's where the cat show is. When you arrive, you see Septimus, or are, are we Archie now? Sure, Archie, yeah. Running bloody hell. The lights are off. And oh, the lights go off fuck. just as you leave the room. <sighs> all right, okay. remain calm, all is well. Are we all here together? <laughs> I've got it! What? The I've got it! It's are are going crazy. crazy. And we've got the planchette. We run towards. I don't know what it is, but I've got it. Suddenly, are you, gonna, you guys are going to run toward. We're running, yes. so run. we're running towards where? Where did you run towards? I was going to uh, book for the front entrance. Run, uh, make a make a make a dexterity <laughs> uh, make a dexterity <laughs> check at extreme at, at disadvantage. Oh, at no. disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I fail. No, but but I can I can push it right. You can push it. You can so I'm going luck. to yeah. I'm going to use luck and get it just under because. So that would take four luck. Yeah. I nah, will do that. <coughs> it? Okay. So far, nothing terrible. You're going to make your way towards towards the door that you came from. Is that where you're running towards? We came in on, over there, mm-hmm. didn't we? No, I'm going yeah, for that. You're going for that one? Yeah. The entrance. Okay. Sure, it's what I'm closest to. Right? Yeah, because yeah, you're right there. As right there. you run towards the entrance, the lights go out. Am I still running with a lantern in my hand? You don't. Do you have a lantern? I thought I did. I mean, you have one right you there. You have one right there. That's a lantern. Mm-hmm. You do so have Travis a lantern. So Travis is in complete darkness. I'm do you sorry. Get, <laughs> as you get to the window, Bad jokes. right? There Bad are in darkness. There are four four people in. Because each team. Elizabethan clothing, I suppose, would no, be the best. That's my wife. And they're all standing at the window looking at you, and they're all tapping. On the outside or the inside? The reflections would be of people on the inside if they were there, but it's just the reflections. Um, are there uh, benches or anything around here by the door? Are there benches? There are no benches There's by the door. There's nothing that could be picked up? Anything? By the entrance? Yeah. Uh, you could go into the bathroom and maybe get lucky, or you could go back to the bazaar to maybe find something, or you could just make a make a push for it. A push for it to what? You could try to, I mean, like, you could try and run towards the door, but it is, I will admit, by the, the entrance other, door. Yeah. It's pretty dark, you only have that. And they're on the other side of that glass? They are on the other side of that glass, and there is a, oh, nice. there's a big stripe of metal beam that you would have to okay, jump through. Okay, so, um, so uh, Archie runs towards it like he's going to smash himself through and wusses out and stops and just stares at them, gobsmacked for a minute, and then starts to run back towards the fucking others. All right, make a... Uh, Make another, make another dexterity, dexterity at, at, uh, at dexterity at, at, at uh, difficulty. Difficulty. Dexterity under sixty. I succeed. Slippery you bastard. Slippery bastard. Slippery motherfucker. You're back with the group. Um, the planchette to uh, uh, Zoneil. Holy Alexandra! What is that noise? What is it? What happened? Doc engineer, you got a plan, right? Where, you got a plan. Where's Thatcher? Badger? He's here, right? Uh, Captain? We I, I, put my, I put my light around. You did make out of the cat show. Go, go, go. I got the casket. Badger! I have it. The darkness Fuck. seems to be spreading. Little tendrils start grasping out of the points and places around the beams everywhere the shadows are cast. It starts reaching out for you. It's trying to trap you in. Lights! Lights toward Badger! Can we form the back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back back again? To back. Yeah, you don't. Are you going to do back-to-back-to-back? To back to back? Aye. Around Badger. Okay. Around Badger. In the center. Okay. Do you, do you see that? 
In the shadows that are being cast by yourselves around you, there are now seven people with their back turned just outside of your view that are shuffling slowly around you at the edge of the darkness. The shadows, we're making shadows. Um, what do we do? Give me the, we not the make crystal shadows? that we burned through. Oh, the, oh it's not uh, here, it's not here. That one, the other oh, do we throw out the other one? Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I take it in front of the planchette and try to hold it to the light. Anything? Um, no, but sadly, I will say the shadow that you're currently casting with the planchette, two shadow hands burst out of it towards your face and try and pull you towards it. Oh. Alexandra! Oh, make, uh, make, make a, make a strength I check. I shove the lantern. Um, I'm going to spend luck mm -hmm. to succeed. Mm -hmm. Seven points. Hey, you you, you do succeed. Well, that's the thing is, it's it's actually a contested roll. Okay. Oh. Okay. What did you roll with uh, your luck that you spent? Sixty-six. You oh, with the luck that I spent? Or yeah, are you with 59. the luck? Fifty-nine. You managed to pull the uh, the planchette hard enough that the that the hands let go. They do, on the other hand, knock. That lantern down and it shatters. You're one down. <laughs> big loss. Get it's it off the table. Big loss. <laughs> Take it away. It's a big loss. Uh, oh, I no. all the planchette. I kind of angle it and I kind of uh, not to get anywhere near my partners. Hold it up in front of this thing. For the Nothing. black mirror. The black mirror that we shattered. I think this is what this was for. Do you you know that you know the technical uses use of a, of a planchette? No. To hold it over a thing and mm -hmm. find shit out, and there was writing and script on that big there mirror was. thing. Have yeah. we just fucked? We might have fucking killed ourselves. I think we're fucked. What about the casket? What's the casket? We have it. Is there anything on it? Why don't we go to the entrance? I don't know. Is there anything on the casket? There's a lot of hieroglyphs on that. There's casket. There's symbols and and. Oh, to put, put it on the casket. <laughs> Shadows are creeping. I put the planchette over the casket. Uh, it's acting oddly, but nothing helpful. It's just sort of giving you Look. a a series of weird swirls. Dump out, dump out that glass that we shattered. Just dump it on the floor. Hmm. Uh, anything lighting up? Okay. It puts the planchette over the casket, or else it gets the hose. What do we say? What does she say? It's sparkling and doing weird stuff, but nothing, you're not getting anything out of it. Nothing? And, and what about, I think we have to run to the Egyptian room. Wait. The Egyptian room, why? Where well, the rest of the glasses. Why don't we go for the exit? Well, front door's Ooh. not exactly an inviting option. Well, they're not grabbing at us. No, I think, no, you can't confuse the mirror people with the shadow people. The shadow people are trying to kill us. Doc, please. Yeah, you're fucking listening to yourself right now. What about all three of them together? Nothing? Well, no. Oh, God. Nice. Damn it. Get. What did I do? You just passed that across from that right in front of her. <laughs> Another hand reaches out for you. Make a, make a either a <laughs> dex, may either make a dex, uh, make a dex save. You have to be mindful. Oh, that's right, because she's got. Oh, pass. What'd you roll? 62. Oh no. It reaches and grabs the lock of your hair and reels it back into the planchette. <laughs> into the planchette? There's where the what shadow the? came from. I what? yanked the planchette out of the way, like I did before. Mm -hmm. Toro, Toro. Did it work? Okay. It's fine. All right. Ready okay. to move, yes? The glass sparkles, okay. right? The glass sparkles? Let's go to the Egyptian no, room. Let's go to the Egyptian room. Everyone roll a stealth check. Fuck. We're surrounded. Yeah, we're fucking running. Yeah. Oh, pass. Are you guys running? Yes. Yeah. Run, stealth check stealth. at disadvantage. Oh. Oh. Well, I already failed. Oops. Still pass. Um. Pass. Fail. 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 Oh, no. Fail. Fucking matters. <laughs> we're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> As you're running boop, 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 boop. as fast as possible boop, 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 boop. to the to the Egyptian room, there's just the shadows are crawling, and the shadows are making their way 
out of the beams on the floor into little veins as they as they crawl and claw their way into this world. There's something about you they really don't like. I get that one. As you are running by and you cross into one of the of the beams of shadow, two backwards men run full speed to tackle you <laughs> oh, through a beam of shadow. Make a dex save at disadvantage. Make a dex save at disadvantage. I mean, I already failed. It's a fail? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try and push, or? I mean, at this point, I might as well, right? Yeah. Come on, baby, come on. I passed. As you're running by, so, so this is this is this is push luck. They make a push and they grab, and they manage to claw into you, but they don't <gasps> grab you. You do take some damage though of from their roll by, as you get bitten. As they roll by backwards with the back of their head, as you see them roll towards you, and they make their pass almost as if a mouth just grows on the back of their head, but they get a good <laughs> bite out of you. You only take three damage, well done. <laughs> it burns like acid. And they get that good <laughs> and then it just vanishes back into the shadow. You guys gonna keep running? Yes. yes. I'm um, feverishly looking for anything anything metal that can be picked up. Heavy. Uh, not heavy, where but you're not going. Too heavy. All right. Nothing. There's only one place you're going to find anything. Never gonna stop um, you're back at the Egyptian room. How big Why is we the running? planchette? That big. Um, because there's shit everywhere. Yes. Head. There's <laughs> yes. The, the, the black. The shadows, black shadows move as fast as we. Uh, move. It, it's, it's about one no fifth the size. It would have been like it's like a. It's 100% what had to have been useful. What do we do now? There's shards of glass on the ground still. Do we try and do puzzle? No. It, you can roll it over. I'll, you, it is giving a sparkle, but it's not. It's it, it needed to be together. So we killed it. Sure. Maybe we get out. We, Do we have to go behind just... this statue where those people were? We can try it. I think you look behind the statue. There are now three people behind the yeah, statue. Yeah, we don't go back there. We get the fuck out the of lance, here. The lanterns that you have are currently keeping them at bay, but just barely, and they are trying to edge ever closer to you. They're they are walking as close as they can with every shadow that gives them foothold. Okay, let's try and make our way back to where the uh, royal apartment. Where, yeah, Mr. Where Baron Weather said he was going to be in here. There's one really, so really. There's the actually two direction. really, really big ones, and and so about four kind of medium ones. In one hand. No. For what? You gonna hit the shadows? He's gonna to try and break plan. his way out. Yes. We move slowly, keeping the light as, as as concentrated as we can, and move toward the royal apartments. Take it under consideration. Let's get the fuck out of here. He's right. Let's try slowly. You okay. Do what we can. You're gonna move slowly. <clears throat> Stealth at disadvantage. Damn it. No. Oh. oh! Oh, yes. Super yes. success. Yes. Success? Uh, super. Fail, fail, Extreme fail. Success. Three success, three Extreme fail. Success. Oh, man. Uh, oh, no. As you're walking by again, as you're walking out of the Egyptian room towards the bazaar, there's just no way to make it. There's just no, it's almost a labyrinth. There's just no way to walk without through this place without crossing a shadow. It is too crystalline. There's too many hard angles, and it's finding nooks and crannies everywhere to, to gain purchase. Uh, a backwards woman in a almost silk black robe makes a run at you, hands forward to try and grab. You can try and dex out of it, or you can try and strength out of it at disadvantage. Actually, um, strength out of it, disadvantage. That's the decide that you've decided? She, I think she got you. They, they went for the push last time, I think she's making a grab. You can, you, can, you can try and get away, but she's really going. So strength at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. pull, out, pull away before she gets nice a bite at you. you guys. She got this, she got this, she got this. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. Failed. Um, 
push it? You can. You think I should just spend the luck? Well, I didn't. I didn't run this one. Sorry. Oh, I really fucked it up. I, yeah. I have to push. Do 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 do. At disadvantage, right? Mm. Oh god. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. Uh, can I spend seven luck? Uh, can you do that on a push? Oh, I don't know. I, you know what? I don't know if you can do that on a push. Fair enough. Yeah, one or the other. <laughs> Blood oh dramatic God. consequence. You get grabbed by this strange old backwards woman. I'm also holding a lantern, oh. everyone. She takes a yeah! big bite out of you, <gasps> right out of your shoulder. The back of her head. From the back of her head and yanks you really, really hard right towards the fountain. Which is currently in shadow, and you get pulled, bleeding from the shoulder, right into the shadows of the fountain, where there should be a splash, but instead there's just nothing. You mean nothing? No sound. Void. No sound. No nothing. Don't leave the table, though. But I was just gone. Lantern's gone. I just gone. The, the lantern went gone. with her. Oh my God. It I hit did. the shadow and died. So you guys fun, are really <laughs> fucked now. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> All right. What are you going to do? Oh, God. Okay. Are you stopping or are you running? Go. We go. For, yeah. the, for the exit? Or do we just run through a window? The apartments. The royal apartments. Mr. Mary apartments. about this. Are we talking about it or doing it? We're doing it. Doing Roll it. a stealth run. Disadvantage. Jesus, play my phone on you, people. <laughs> Fuck. Help. It's a disadvantage, stealth mm, disadvantage? Yeah, stealth a disadvantage. Fuck. At disadvantage? Actually, I'm so sorry, not disadvantage. Roll one more time. It's stealth at difficulty. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. What does difficulty mean? It means oh, you have to get, again. you have to you roll at least half of it. Same. Okay. Same. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm 25. good. Oh. 25 or less. A good? good? Yeah, good. 14. Oh, two, two six, three, six, three bad little children. Naughty <laughs> <laughs> little children. <laughs> Dr. Mason, as you are running through the bazaar, one of them, as you run through the bazaar and you're going through, you're passing one of the booths in the bazaar that sells just nice housewares. And as you look in the mirror, furniture and the like, you see something in the mirror that catches your eye. You see Ida holding the lantern Tapping. You can't speak, but at the very least, she seems like she's cheering you on towards the exit. You are currently finding yourself behind the glass in this weird Alice in Wonderland twisted version of the Crystal Palace, where when the darkness hits, just the very reality that you are stuck in twists and vanishes in a, into some other strange Byzantine universe. But as long as there is light, you can see it pour through the reflective surfaces in the world you are, and you can see your friends running for the exit. And you can follow them, if you like, in the reflections. And they can hear your tapping. And is you it, can, yeah. Is ahead. it me? It is you. I guess I'll follow them then. Help us. You can also see that there are tons of these creatures descending upon this building, and there are a lot of other people in the glass along with you. You are not alone. I told you to go for the entrance. They're Excuse mirror me. people, not shadows. Devil man, <laughs> where on this map are we right now? There. Should we just go for the entrance? You do find a poker. You do find a, if you're looking, I know what you're looking for. I do like a good poker, I grab, do. Grab a fire poker for your trouble, good man. To break the glass. Fire poker for Should we just bust through the entrance, fuck the apartments, well, it's way closer. Right, yes. You guys are going full speed, but you stop to look in the mirror. Right. And suddenly, two hands pull right out from underneath one of the booths and the shadow that it casts that your feet are on. Can they see me or just Dr. Dr. Pocket? Um, they're the, he's the only one who's noticed you so far. So they don't know to go for the entrance? No. 
so you need to make a strength check for I'm, the disadvantage. I'm urging you to go to the entrance, but only he Come can on, see Doc. him getting right. grabbed. Come on, Doc. That's a oh good, my. good reaction. How bad? Can you push? You should push. You. Oof, you take seven points of damage as two of them grab out and start take a chunk out of your leg. Okay, okay, you're okay. You're, okay. you're pretty stout, dude. You're pretty stout, dude. Seven, seven tip points, but you do. You're bleeding, it's bad. I also need you to roll a sanity check. No. <laughs> Three points of sanity damage. It's all right. Um, your hypothesis is correct. The Mir people are here to help you. Oh shit! You were absolutely right all along, and all of those idiots are going to feel so, so fucking embarrassed for ever doubting you. And all you need to do is break the glass to get her back out. He fixed this. After failing his sanity roll. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, are we all moving on? No. I'm looking around. I'm seeing everything that's happened. I've seen people get grabbed by things that don't exist. I see this for the lunacy that it is, and I am bolting back towards the front entrance with my poker. And I am going to smash the fucking glass. Make a, um, make a, uh, 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 I suppose I'm going to just do a stealth roll extreme advantage. Extreme disadvantage. Advantage. Extreme disadvantage. So yeah. that means a car For fuck's sake, where are you going? If you're, if you're not even being careful about that, are no, you being I'm careful about the shadow? Okay. Oh my yeah. god! I am. No! So. Am I even rolling for stealth? I'm just mm -hmm. booking it. Uh, you're, it's it's just to see if you actually somehow, by the grace of God, manage so, to just do it. Okay, so at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Extreme you disadvantage. Roll? Extreme disadvantage. Well, so. I fail because one of those is an eighty. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll push. I suppose. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Come on, bud. Come on. Oh! Big Archie. Uh, that's a pass. No, extreme disadvantage. Roll extreme pass. disadvantage. Can I use? I can, can I chisel that down? No. Uh, no. Well, then that's a fail. That's an extreme. That's the intense pushed fail. Sure. Oh God. You run into a shadow. Go bigger. Go home. <laughs> you run straight for the fucking door, screaming bloody murder. As you run, you run right into the darkness. <gasps> they hear the clamor of your poker as it hits, and they see your severed head. <gasps> Roll out of the shadow. Oh. <laughs> what? Roll into the next shadow, and it's gone too. What <laughs> the fuck? The sounds of hungry, hungry snarls begin to f just fill. Did the, did the lantern go with yeah, it? Yeah, really oh, yeah. Him. No, the lantern disappeared? You only have one. I would <laughs> really run. <laughs> You're there. Okay, yes. roll us, roll us stealth for the roll a stealth at uh, uh, just a standard stealth with uh, at uh, stand stealth at disadvantage against uh, disadvantage against uh, uh, half the fifty percent. No. No. Uh, <coughs> very no. No. Three no's. If you show up on the other side of the glass and you're like, come on. Without my head. Without this head. one guy. Tap, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> You are deciding whether or not you're going to run or whether or not you're going to break the glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you that, can you see me out. Right. Which glass? The mirror that she appeared in, to, to, to she was tapping at you at. Oh, right. I don't right. think we even noticed he's gone. No. no. Yeah, no, I'm going to try to break the glass. All right. Uh, how are you going to break the glass? That's what, oh, that's what I was thinking. Like, I don't. You gonna punch it? Or you gonna pick up something? You gonna whatever you like? Well, it's, there, you oh, said it's housewares, right? Yeah. So there's got to be something hard. There's tons of things. There's a. There was the poker one. I got. got pulled. There's a fireplace attachments. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cookingware. There's a. There's just stuff everywhere. There's a frying pan. There's a. Um, yeah, try to break it. With a punch, the bunch pan. of vases. You're gonna take it. You're gonna throw it. Or you're gonna smash it. Smash it. You run up to it and get a good smash at the mirror. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, make a make a strength check, easy peasy. Very little strength. Come on, dog. At, advantage. It's this is a mirror. Oh yeah, double oh six. Oh, there it, is. it shatters everywhere. Big huge noise. Doesn't have any effect. Yeah. But now I need you to make a dexterity save at extreme disadvantage because that lantern, the only one left, is long gone. My dexterity is 50, it's just 26. It, what, it, what's it? Oh, you're just over. Um, mm -hmm. Half, yeah. Fuck it. Can I push it? Oh, it's mean, actually, I, uh, the, the, it? did you roll Extreme? disadvantage? No. Did you roll three die? Oh. oh no, you have to roll a third die. What do I, wait, three? The same. Yeah, roll uh, one D100, yeah. yeah. Oh, percentile die one more time, so just the one percentile okay. die. The one with two numbers on it. 40. So that's a 40 is what you re yeah. So you're, you're, you you're have to take the higher number. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is great. You still succeeded. No, because it's halved. Uh, so you need to hit twenty five or. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> you can. You can. You can. Can you push still, or can you not push? You've only rolled once. You could push. Okay. And so roll a disadvantage one more time. All three so, dice. So wait. Do all three? All, all three, three take the highest number of the and the tens. Mm. Bye bye. Oh. Welcome to Mirror World. As you stare at the broken mirror and your friend is not back, uh, I think it occurs to you that, that there is some satisfaction in hypothesis and test and result. <laughs> <laughs> and if nothing else, you have reminded yourself that you are a good scientist who follows the data. You don't even feel what happens next. The shadow just, it's just everywhere. Are you the only three left? Uh -huh. Last roll to make it to the door. Oh God. Disadvantage. And you're still headed to the royal apartment? Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Anymore. <laughs> oh! Did you make it? I'm gonna Is use. I'm gonna use luck. Success or? Oh wait, it's got to be half. Mm -hmm. It's got to be half. No. It's got to be half. No, no. How much luck do you have? A lot. I'm gonna use. 20 points of luck. You can, you can burn it. You can burn it. Burn your luck if you have it. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes! Success. <laughs> Everyone's doing well. I'm also You have the royal Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. You. What's your luck? Get distracted. It's so far. When you see. Archie in a reflection. Oh, I'm so sorry, you don't see Archie in the reflection. That's wrong. You see Wait, Dr. Wait, can I push my, I haven't pushed my luck yet. You can push if you I like. Push. I will attempt to push. Do you, have, you don't have luck to spend, you just have to push. Okay. Oh, she, she does. Yes. She has you have luck to spend? Luck. I do have luck to spend. Do you have enough Actually, luck yes, to I succeed? I rolled a 37. And how much and would you need? Half. So I need 20, so I could spend 18 All. luck. I spent 20, do it. spend okay. that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Spend it now. <laughs> Doing it. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, Somehow, two. you see Dr. Mason in the reflection in front of you in the wall, and he is pointing at the door frantically. You are both pointing at the door frantically. Which door? The door. To the apartments? To the, to the, to the royal, royal apartments. Right. From behind, from a shadow, you are also now still being chased backwards by the back of a head that looks vaguely familiar oh. as Archie. <laughs> Just the head? No, oh my he's, God. he's he's together, oh. but he's he's backwards. Uh, oh. Like the body's running forward and yeah, the head's, head's backwards. Oh. It's going. <laughs> Everything's odd, and he looks hungry. I push open the doors. The door bursts open. It is thankfully unlocked. We all explode out. Light pours what? from that room because the lights are not off in that room. Oh. Fuckers. I thought the lights were off everywhere. <laughs> not not in the rich people. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Merriweather 
What on earth is happening? Shut the door, shut the door, shut the fucking door! Shut the fuck door! Shut the, we, he shuts the door. You are now in a lit room together. What's wrong with, where's everybody else? They're, Come on. They're, they're gone. They're, they're, they're gone. They're gone. What they? Why don't I dump the casket at his feet. Is it open or closed? It's closed. That's excellent. Let's take a look at it. No! He opens the casket. He he has this necklace around his neck that he places upon the casket and gently opens it. He flings it open. Where's my cat? Where's the cat? <laughs> The cat shot out of it in a horrific scream and dispersed amongst all the other kittens in the fucking showroom. It's still in there, isn't it? Yes! Along with a bunch of other shadowy people that are gaunt and hungry and were running out of every bit of darkness in every corner of the room. Darkness? Like, like what do you mean, darkness? Like shadows. What happened to you, Mike? Shadows with hands. Why don't you tell us if There are three directions. of us. We started with six. Where do you think the other three are? This is going to get a little rough. I do apologize. What, what do, you, do you know? What do you mean, your cat? The lights begin to flicker. No. Oh, God. The room is going dark again. It knows you're in here. Archie kicks open the door as the lights begin to flicker, opens the casket, grabs the planchette, grabs his necklace, puts all three together, and begins to meditate. Are you going to help? Are you, is anyone going to help? Archie yes, or Mr. Merriweather? Mr. Merriweather. Oh, I'm so sorry, not Archie, Mr. Merriweather. Yes. Archie's long gone. <laughs> uh, Mr. Merriweather begins a small ritual. After bursting open the door, the shadows are now crawling into the room. Wait, with the help planchette, him. the stone, and what else? The planchette, the stone, and the necklace that he was wearing. Necklace. I help him. Gonna sit down, give me a power roll. Fucking, fucking, fuck! Yeah, I'll help. I don't know how. I'll help. Shadows begin to oh, crawl and. Super, super, super success! What'd you roll? Oh, zero! You roll a zero? Yes. Wait, does that mean 100? Yeah. It's exactly it means, it means zero. zero! It means. It means. You said this goes to 99 in this system. Yeah, so it's 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 perfect success. You rolled a crit. I, you right? critted on that roll? The, look, look! <laughs> it is zero! Erica can it's see it! Zeros. Wait. I was so looking forward to murdering the rest of you. The room begins to howl with wind and screams as the two of you sit together with this and focus on it. He is gripping the casket with all its might. You can now see, looking into the room, that there are dozens of backwards people, Archie included, running full speed towards you, towards the door, ready and hungry like a zombie run. There are also feral cats that have had their faces cut open and scratched in their attempts to push their way out of their cages as they are running, screeching towards the door for the last, for the next group of living people within the building. The casket begins to howl. The casket, almost a vacuum begins to pour within it as the necklace becomes frigid cold. The placet begins spinning of its own accord. The green swell, the green jade inside begins flashing occult symbols as it shifts through a series of incantations. As the casket begins to shudder, does anybody have you three are left. Somebody roll a perception. Uh, give me a give me a give me a uh, um, uh, an intelligence roll really quickly from the three of you. Just standard. Mm -hmm. Nice. Eight. That's an extreme success. Fifty-seven. In the portraits on the wall, you can see. You catch out of the corner of your eyes. You watch. Mister Mister Merriweather holding for dear life. His. Reflection begins to waver and vibrate, oh and a shadow version of himself in the reflection begins, separates from what he's doing in, in the material world and begins rounding up like some 
wizard conductor of evil and shadow, forcing all of them into a huge uh, whirlpool of power as he pours all of these spirits into the casket. They are screaming, trying to run away now as he collects them in the casket. Chunks and bleed from his reflection are pulled along with them like a gravitational pull as you just watch his reflection lose lose thickness and gets light and light and finally he closes the casket and the lights come back on Everything seems normal other than 20 or 30 very, very bloody cat carcasses on the wall, on the floor outside in the other room. And Mr. Merriweather? He seems fine. He shuts the door. To the room? To the room. I would ask the two of you to leave and never speak of this. You do not know what this has cost me. has been contained for now. <laughs> I may be questioning your services in the future. Um, for now, it is contained again. For now, I will be hiding this artifact somewhere safe until such time as we can figure out how to defuse it. Your secrets are safe. We will Come up with a good excuse for your back. There's shattered glass in there. You were being unruly. Does that work for you? Mummy and Daddy wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> your mother, maybe your father. I don't think so either. Keep that. I think that'll go a long way towards making them feel a little better about everything. I don't know what happened. Are you all right, Bentley? Yes, I'm fine. What did you do? I have bound it for now. It's using a bit of my own power, what little I have. I'm just a student. Um, it's the trouble with sacrificial magic is it requires sacrifice, and uh, I'm going to be requesting your help in the coming years to figuring out how to untether myself from this thing. If, if you're not uh, too thrown by the events of this evening to maintain your service, will you, uh, I would like to keep you on the payroll, if that's all right. Thrown, <laughs> yes. We lost Ida, Archie, Dr. Mason, uh, some of them may have survived in a, in a fashion. This place, there's a reason we bring pl things to this place. Most things that die in here, they don't ever really leave. It's a, it's sort of a trap, if you will. It's why we brought the pieces here, it's because we knew it couldn't leave without getting out a main entrance. Uh, so perhaps, and sometime at the very least, we can get them out of here, and hopefully they'll stay safe from all the other things that are trapped in there. I'm sure they'll be fine. Under invention. Under invention. Please make sure. It will be, knows. it will still be entered into the, into the gallery under the proper under name. Her name. Of course. Yes. A debt is a debt. Your parents will also be compensated the money that was owed. And? Our compensation? Paid in full, of course. And then some, I would expect. I know you want to keep th that artifact, as long as you promise that I can gain access to it when I need it. It's yours. Mr. We will be employing you again in the future, I imagine. Oh, joy. I 
hesitate to even ask. What would have happened if you had failed? They say that there was a time when the sun would set thousands of years ago. And a beast would feed until the sun rose, and it would walk the plains of the earth, consuming whatever it liked. Imagine it would walk again. It, hints of it might still be out there. We will do our best to illuminate the night as best we can. The more light we can make, the harder it's going to have a time feeding. Perhaps one day we may even finally starve them to death. Are there others like you? Who knows? Now, we can cover that later. I imagine you're all tired, and the speech is still going on in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you do whatever it is that you uh, English do? Put yourselves together, stiff upper lip, and uh, we'll hide you in here, and I will mention that you are missing, and you can just sit and wait for someone to arrive with some medical emergency, and you can prepare your lie for them. Does that uh, suit you? Always does. Thanks for the lock. <laughs> we may call upon you again as well if you are interested, this time for a uh, Mutually beneficial, no blackmail, of course. I'm always up for luck. Well, good night, poor mortals. I hope your cats survive the night. Let's get out of here. And he opens the door into the other room and quietly leaves, not making eye contact with anybody. Well. This is goodbye for now. I wish you continued success with the escapades of the Night Fox. And <laughs> to you, I hope I don't see you again for quite a while. Same. It has been wonderful. Where are you going next? But not really. I think I will go back to the monks. Back to Tibet. We shall see. I think I have much news that they might be interested in hearing, and perhaps maybe I can strengthen my own mind for future encounters. As I don't think we are rid of them. Mm. Keep them in the light, yes. No playing in the dark. I think I'll have a night light for the rest of my life now. <laughs> Steady on. Steady on. Until the next gala, Hannah. <sighs> Perhaps I'll come visit you sometime. Please do. No one else will be able to relate to what we saw tonight. <sighs> well, I suppose I shall go back to my functions and everything and my escapades. And I do hope we meet again sometime, Captain. Before the next time the world needs saving. For lucky. Oh, with that tension, I'm going to leave. Say goodbye to your mom for me. Or hello to your mom. Freudian slip, it's been a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> I shall. And I get the fuck out. It's Freud. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, Freud, Freud, Freud Freud's, Freud's fine. You're Freud's fine. You're good. Freud? And, uh, okay. Outside. Uh, oh, you found the cat. German, German fellow with a big uh, mustache. And with that, uh, my good gentle persons, you have been watching Shadow of the Crystal Palace. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. For the further, for the further.
further adventures of, of poor Mr. Merriweather, uh, uh, you can find out what happened to him uh, in this wonderful little box that, that we oh, were cool. given to uh, play with. You guys, that was a ton of fun. I can't believe how many of you survived. Can I ask oh, you a question? Of course. What would have happened had we gone out the entrance? Would we have spread darkness and terror everywhere? Yeah. yeah. They would have opened yeah. it into the world. If you managed to get into it, it would have made a breach and all sorts of, it would have then, it would have then also been whoever's trapped in the mirror trying desperately to keep them from getting out. Wow. Uh, there's also if there if the if more of you had died earlier, oh man, so many strange things. There there were a lot of different ways this could go. It was, it was basically a giant um, version of of, of a what was the yeah. mirror? What was the big mirror that we mirror shattered in the oh, first yeah. hour? That was what was containing it. Oh. Uh, that was, so we did let it out. You did let it out. The doctor was right. And the cat demon. Well done. You did both. Um, <laughs> Oh, there's two different ones. Oh, there was it was it was very it was very cabin in the woods. There was it was just a series of mouse traps, and I was waiting for, to see which ones you kicked. Yeah, the fountain, kicked some interesting fountain wasn't ones. good either. Uh, I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to keep you guys there for too long. Although we are going to uh, probably be some fun posting on this because I love the his sort of historical insanity of these sorts of games. I do want to do a special thanks uh, to the crew, the cast. First of all, you guys were amazing, and I loved it. And our crew worked so bloody hard on this game. Yes. Uh, you guys. And especially like and like and thanks to Jenny Newman for coming for the costumes and, 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 oh, and the poor Chris Lockie who worked his butt off on this yes, and Lockie. everybody and Max and Danny and Vin, everybody did such a good job in this amazing set yes. and these amazing, you know, amazing creepy shadows which I'm going to have a long talk with everybody about. Yes. And the um, fucking hands reached out of the void. Oh, <laughs> the fucking hands, man. They are yeah, they're a lot of fun and I'll probably be talking about how we made some of these. Uh, Chaosium guys, thank you so much for giving us an excuse to get this crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've had a lovely night. Uh, thank you all. And uh, is it uh, is it Halloween yet? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Well That's... done, sir. Well done. <laughs> the final lantern is snuffed. <laughs> <laughs>